What is going on, Governor? It's Chiskool here, and today we are going to smash the new, brand new ARMS training. I am pumped. You know my promise to you is that whenever new content comes into this game, we're going to crack the code and figure this thing out together and share it with you so that you've got the strategy, the tactics, everything you need to freaking slay. So let's do this thing, baby. If you like Rise of Kingdoms videos where we help you get value and slay your enemies, then you should like and subscribe. This video is no subs uh, well, this video is no exception. Drop a like on the video and my stumbling aside, let's get the freaking party started. Hello and welcome. Holy moly, chat's already exploding. Bunch of folks here. Maureen, Redleg, Puddin. Whew, we got a lot to do today. We got a lot to do today. Brand new event. Um, this, I'm told, is hard. Chat is saying it's hard too. I've heard that healing really sucks. We gotta figure this thing out. Um, let's walk through how the heck this even works. And with an event that has a limited number of attempts... This is one of those events. We need to actually read the freaking manual, okay? RTFM, read the freaking manual and how the heck this thing works to get as much information as we can so that we're more likely to be successful. Someone's saying it should be a, a cakewalk for Chiskel. I don't know. This is a battle to see who can get the furthest, right? So this is a little bit of a competition. Arms Master Lohar. I feel like I need to say his name like a special way. Like Arms Master Lohar. <laughs> I don't know. Lohar's organized... A session of arms training. Uh, use this opportunity to learn valuable battle experience. Chad, I want you to tell me if this is valuable battle experience. We'll see. Every time you defeat Lohar's army three times. Okay, so we got to beat him three times. Lohar will become stronger and unlock a new skill. Uh, governors will select this new skill. So we get to choose a skill, and it sounds like we're picking our poison here, right? We're picking our poison for what the heck we want to go deal with. I like this so far. Uh, we're going to have to figure out the right combination of skills here. Governors can use only one army for the entire duration of each training session. In other words, as soon as any army enters a session of arms training, subsequent battles during this session must be completed by that same army, and it cannot receive any healing until training ends. Huh. Does that mean healing doesn't work at all? Like healing doesn't work at all? No reinforcement armies are allowed. What is a reinforcement army? Is that like an extra army? Swole Arms Lohar? That's right. Swole Arms Lohar is out to play here. You can test skills and using commanders that would benefit from those skills. Um, yes, this skill... Just figure that out after the first round. Lots of barbs. I saved up all my action points. Do we need action points for this? If we do, we got plenty. Uh, once a governor's army has been defeated, given up, returned to a city, or defeated a Lohar that has all skills unlocked three times. All skills unlocked three times. The session ends and the points are calculated. I don't quite know what that means. If you lose or... You defeat him three times. The session ends? Is that what it is? Healing doesn't work at all, Chad is saying. Wow. Okay. Each time you defeat Lohar's army once, you earn 10,000 points. If you were defeated midway, you gain bonus points, which is based on the percentage of troops remaining. Okay. If you defeat a Lohar that has all his skills unlocked three times, you can unlock all his skills. Does that mean... Each skill can level up. Oh my god, it's 50 AP attack. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Someone else says healing works. Wait, does healing work or does it not work? Healing doesn't work at all or it does work? Uh, returning your city midway or giving up will not award points or bonus points. So you got to go till you die. Governors can start three sessions of training per day. The final points is based on the highest point total. A server down will forcefully end a training session that's in progress oh, look at that look at that the uh, cya over there all right so if the server cloak goes down is that right then it ends the session and that's that sorry please complete it before the server goes down okay okay now select a skill for me and see if you can defeat me 
Um, chat is blowing up. We got 400 folks watching. Who y'all want to do some training today? Let's do some training. What do we got here? Activate the skill. Okay. We have 10 different skills that we can choose from. 10 different skills. I tried Richard and it doesn't work at all. Wow. So no healing whatsoever. Um, strike of vengeance. Lohar's troops have a 10% chance on attack to dish out an additional strike of vengeance. <laughs> Dealing damage equal to 500% of normal attack. Whenever damaged by a skill, immediately retaliate. Ooh, with strike of vengeance. Oh, I'm not picking that. No way. Uh-uh, not picking that one. All right, combo shots. K -k -k combo shots. Lohar's active skill is powered up to combo shots whenever using lethal shot. There's a 50% chance to use lethal shot again, maximum of five times. So wait a minute. When does he use lethal shot? This is strike of vengeance. When is his lethal shot? What even is that? What is this lethal shot? All right, doesn't say. I'll keep going. During an engagement of battle, during the engagement, when Lohar's troops are reduced to 10% after 10 seconds immediately heal to 30% units, ugh. Shifty Walnut, thank you for the $2 super chat. Smash the like button, says Shifty Walnut. I mean, he's an authority, so he donated. He's basically the authority. Okay, continuing on. You should totally smash the like button. Rapid regeneration. Whenever attacked, Lohar's troops have a 10% chance to heal troop units. Oh, my volume's way too loud. Holy jeez. Heal troop units by 1% in the next 10 seconds. Continuously heal troop units. Ew. That sounds awful. I don't want that. That sounds like you could get into a situation where he just heals forever and you lose. Thrill of battle. Every 10 seconds, Lohar's troops will increase their attack and defense. Oh, they get 100% attack and defense? That is disgusting. No, no. Reinforced armor. Every 10 seconds, Lohar's troops gain a shield, damage factor 1,000, for 5 seconds. While the shield is active, incoming normal attack damage is reduced by 20%. Now, this seems like a skill that I would want to fight against right? Like this, doesn't this feel like a skill we can beat? That feels super beatable right here. This is my number one pick so far, okay? This is so far my number one pick. Like, yeah, okay, you shield, whatever. I feel like that's, I feel like that's a thing we can handle. Troops led by Lohar have a 100% chance to gain 200 rage whenever attacked. And troops led by you will gain 50 rage? Oh, now this just seems fun. This, this just seems fun. What? That just seems way too fun. I mean, if I, if I choose that, I have to use Khan. I absolutely have to use Khan. Someone is saying reinforced armor first is the easiest. Yeah, that, see, that seems like it might be the easiest. But, but dude, but dude, are you saying I'm getting 50 rage a second? I know they're getting 200 rage a second, but I'm getting 50 rage a second. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of rage. All right. Master of the bow. Uh, Lohar's mastery of the bow allows him to snipe. Pew, pew. Enemy wrists with incredible accuracy, causing them to drop their weapons. Dude. Dude, there is no human who can shoot a bow that well. There is no... Okay, well, Lohar's not human. He has no nipples. So I guess I've just solved my own problem here. Um, in case you were wondering, just, there's no nipple. Just, just look, it's not there. Conroe, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Let's get some hype emojis welcoming them to the channel as a member. When you become a member, your name is green. I'm a zillion times more likely to see your chats. Uh, you get a little badge that says how long you've been a member and you get access to all the sweet freaking emojis. All right. So since Lohar is not human, he can shoot people at their wrists and actually make them drop their weapons. You become disarmed, normal attack disabled for two seconds. That does not seem too bad for me. That also seems like something I can deal with. It's kind of like a heal, but not really. It's not a heal, right? The thing about healing is that he could go infinite if he overpowers you. Um, but a disarm, I, I, that, that seems much more welcoming to me. 
Ghost Train, thank you for the $5 super chat. He says, or she says, or they say, Yo, Chissy, what's going on, homie? How is it going? Whew. We're doing great. I mean, we've got a new event. I love new content coming into Rise of Kingdoms. I already have so much to do. I have a main. I have a. I have a alt. I have a farm. Who has time for real life with all these accounts? What the heck? But now we've got a new event, and we got to crack the code. Armor of Thorns increased defense of all troops led by Lohar by ten percent, and increases counterattack damage by fifty percent. You see, counterattack damage. If you're in on like a high damage route that's going to end the fat the fight really quickly i'm like less worried about counterattack damage probably not my first pick but not my last pick and uh poisoned arrows because why not we're doing our best tamaris impression by poisoning our arrows uh governor's troops attacked by lohar will continuously take damage factor 100 each second and reduce speed of rage gain oh hell no hell no no way nope no fun. Not doing it. Not doing it. How's quarantine? Quarantine's great. I've used this armor one is good. I feel like reinforced armor is decent. I feel like I can deal with this. I feel like I'm equipped to deal with this, fam. We're activating it. Last chance. Chat, what do you think? Which one? Drop it in the chat. Gecko Gaming, what's going on, dude? 601 folks watching. If you haven't checked out Gecko Gaming, you should. He's another YouTuber for Rise of Kingdoms. He covers war as one of his specialties, certainly far more than I do. So if that's what you're into, check out his channel. Um, so Reinforced Armor, I think, is my pick here, Chad. Uh, that seems like a really good pick here. We've got our chocolate tea. By the way, we're ready for action. We've got a water bottle. Man, we're good to go. It's time to slay. Oh, is it time to freaking slay? All right, reinforced the rage gem. Iron, iron resolve, is that the one? First or second one? Let's do this one. Reinforced armor. Activate. All right, cool. Level one. All right, so we got this cool bar. And chat, do I need do I need to use a 50% expansion here? Is that a thing? Do I need to use an expansion, get a rune? I think I do. I think I do. Buff with Joan? Is that a thing? That sounds really cheaty. But it sounds like it could also be a thing. What kind of rune do we have here? Let's go get a rune to do this. Real quick. We got research speed, wood speed, troop attack. Okay, you have my attention. You, you have my attention. We'll send one speedy march. Let's go, Khan. Oh, 10% health. Divert. Let's get 10% health, baby. Health seems good. 7% health. 7 attack. I feel like attack might be better than health, but whatever. Yes, this event is only for whales. And you need armor. Yeah, okay, we're going to move all, over all our gear. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, we need a token. We need a token. Let's go to our boosts. Let's get boosted up in here, fam. We'll rock a attack token. And while our troops are out there getting a sweet old rune, let's strategize on what single march we're going to bring. I'm really inclined to rock none other than Khan. I mean, right? Like, don't we go Khan? Don't we go Khan? And healing doesn't work, is what people were saying. So Khan doesn't heal, so that seems good. Is Sundok good? Yeah, Sundok's good for gathering. I don't know if I'd use her for combat, though. Like, maybe if you max her first skill in the super early game, you could. But, like, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I like Khan. Um, I would use... I would totally use... Takeda. But I feel like... But I can't heal, right? You said I can't heal? If I can't heal, like, I'm losing a lot of the effectiveness of this. Am I not? Guan, Alex, Khan, Isong, lots of ideas. Lots of ideas. If I can't heal, don't I lose this? This event is a pain. I mean, like, a Saladin would be an interesting choice. Although the march speed reduction is nothing. 
the healing reduction could be a thing, couldn't it? That could be good. Also, I might have to change my con build. My con build is for Soroli Crisis now. Either go with tons of damage or high health and defense. Interesting. All right, well, we'll do this a couple times. We can do this a couple times. Uh, let's... Around 3,000 chests will get me level 25 at branching out. I don't think I quite understand that question. Do anything with direct damage, says Maureen. All right. All right. I like Khan Saladin. I, I think I like the Khan Saladin plan. Um, let's look at our build real quick. Right? Like, this is a pretty high damage build, high rage build. It's shed a bunch of march speed to have more buffs, which seems really good to me. Um, I mean, I, I mean, we're really all in on stats and damage. Like, this this build and, I mean, this gear that I have, this is, this is pretty much the most decked out you can be. Just about. Just about. Just about. So, I think we're going to give this a shot here. We're going to use Archon, and we're going to use Saladin, and we'll see how it goes. I'm not convinced Khan Saladin is necessarily the best pick of what we could do. Actually, hold hold the phone. Let's go to our boost, and let's rock that old 50% expansion. All right. So now, now we got max troops. We got the city skin. Let's just go in over here to our commander tab. We're going to remember to do this if you're making these changes, right? We're going to get, uh, let's see here, troop defense and health. We'll put that on our con, and we'll put more, actually, Oh, I want I want the attack on my Saladin. There we go. All right, cool. Get a little bit of extra stats here. Does this Lohar count as a barbarian? Do you think? Chiss, use Mina Tao. They have Bard damage skill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a Barb? Does this guy qualify as a Barb? Does does he qualify as a Barb? Does he qualify as a barb? I don't actually know if he does. If he does, that changes the calculus a lot. Like, so I want to use, if he's a barbarian, I mean, let's just test it and find out, right? No and yes. Oh gosh, Chad is torn. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, let's use Khan. Gosh darn it. And we're going to use full T5. Khan and Minamoto, right? Minato. I don't know. Yes? Yes? Yes, it's a barb? Minatao got me to the last skill. All right, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. If we're going to do Minatao, we got to switch up a lot of gear. Ethel is good. He didn't get the daily barb quest. We'll do. Okay, hold on. So if we're going to do this with Minamoto, and we're going to go all in on winning this event, because we don't have ass things we do this all the way um what are we going to do for our build what are we going to do we oh actually i already have a build almost this is my fort build i don't need the march speed i don't need the march speed at all i kind of like don't even care about insight let's reset my fort build if we're making a minamoto build and we're trying to like just completely slay this event right you are completely slaying this event we definitely want to go over here and get all of these sweet goodies. I mean, this is just a huge amount of boost to barbs. I love all of that. And the experience gain is not relevant. I mean, this is a build. We're really kind of going all in on this event, which uh, it's debatable if you should do this. But if we were going to go just all in on this event, because it does use action points, I think our build that is designed just for this event on our Minamoto is going to look something like this. And by the way, we should just get a look at the rewards because if you're getting a bunch of goodies as the rewards that might make it worth it, eh, it's worth looking at. Okay, so we've got 16 more points before we assign those. Let's just talk about the rewards for doing this. 20 legendary commander heads. Is it worth using a talent respec for 20 legendary commander heads if I can get first? Pfft, hell yeah. Come on, right? Now, the rewards really drop off below rank 10. So we really are trying to get to rank 10 or higher here. That's definitely the case. 
Now, the, the thing that I wonder about Minamoto Sao Sao, though, is that if healing really doesn't work, if healing really doesn't work, like, is Sao Sao really the pick? I'm not convinced it is. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my Khan, and I'm going, or not Khan, my Minamoto. I'm going to finish this build, but I'm going to take Khan Minamoto for a spin, and then I want to try Minamoto as a primary and see how that goes. So I think what I would do, and maybe I just committed too many points over there. Let's find out. I think I would do something like this over here, and then like this. Does he have, the real question is, are there archers involved in this? Do they have archers? This build is just about damage. Like it gets rid of all the march speed. It gets rid of all the fluff. It's just damage and rage gen. Um, and you could go for some anti-archer stuff. You could go for some more stats. I went for the rage gen, which may or may not be use it. Don't use cow cow. <laughs> Chat's funny. I know it's pronounced out Sao. I use Sao Mina and Sao didn't heal. Money Moto, go, go, go. So this is the build I would use for arms training. Arms TRN. All right. If you were kind of going all in on a build, but we need to just try this already. So we're going to take Khan and we're going to take Mina. We're going to do it this way. And because we think they're a barbarian, because we think they're a barbarian, we're going to go back into our commander tab and we're going to swap out Lohar. Instead, we're going to put our Minamoto over here. To get the 5% damage to Barbarians. There you go. What free-to-play pair do I recommend? Well, let's give it a shot first, see how this goes, and then we'll have an answer. All right, so now it's time to challenge. Here we go. Level 1. Challenge 1. Attack. Okay. Once this troop has been chosen for training, you cannot add troops for the remainder of this training session. So just confirming, we have our Cavalry. Also, a Gemdo just spawned right in front of my face. Uh, and 310,000. And we will scout this for a War Frenzy buff. Public service announcement. Scouting or getting War Frenzy gives you 3% attack. And it's time to do this thing. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. All right. We'll see how this goes. We got all the goodies here. We got literally all the goodies. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Get wrecked, Lohar. Are you for real? Are you for real? This is going to burn freaking all of my action points. Death Chain 17, thank you for the $5 super chat. Hey, Chiss, stay healthy, stay safe. Wish you the best for you and your family and everyone watching the stream and donation train. Well, thank you for starting a donation train. I hope that everybody is doing well and is healthy and staying safe. Um, practice social distancing. I'm not a doctor, but I'm practicing social distancing. You probably should too. When I go for a walk with my wife, also known as the stream fairy, the live stream fairy, and like we're walking down the street and somebody comes along and they like try to like scoot right past you on the sidewalk. Duh, it drives me nuts. Six feet, people. You're supposed to stay six feet away. Come on. All right, here we go. Let's challenge this thing. Here we go. It is, says still level one. We're just melting this. This is going to be easy. What's up, baby? Hey, so I missed out on all my pre-KVK stages. How can I make up for it? I have anywhere between 70 to 90,000 AP, and I really want a bunch of gems and legendary sculptures. Um, the time for that will be recreate or rebuilding your Crusader Fort. Now, what I notice here is that we're already down like 8,000 units, which is a little concerning. Uh, let's challenge this again, and we go battle. I'm new in the game. Can you send some tips? Um, Rani Caspi, check out my beginner's playlist. That is definitely the thing you should check out. P.S. If you're enjoying this video, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on it, that helps out the channel a ton. Much appreciated, and consider subscribing for daily Rise of Kingdoms content. Boom. Okay. That was easy. That was easy. I didn't even look at these rewards. Nothing, nothing, and some dazzling starlight sculptures. Okay, so we finished the first skill. 
We finished the first skill, which seems really good. Now we activate another one. Um, this just looks way too fun. Troops led by Lohar have a 100% chance to gain 200 rage. I, I shouldn't do this. I really shouldn't do this, right? Like, I should not do this. There's no way that that's the right thing to do. 200 rage a second? That can't be right. That can't possibly be right. I need to do the thing that's going to do, like, the least amount of damage to me. I feel like... I feel like... Maybe this is a good one for every 10 seconds in battle. Like, we're not in battle very long, are we? That seems really good. This one seems like it's going to do almost nothing. I feel like this is what I would pick. Ethelfled later on, please. 30% health and defense reduction. They said it's not barbs. Do it. It's not that bad. Oh my gosh, y'all are crazy. But what about this one? Thrill of the battle. I feel like combat lasts like 10 seconds. He's going to get 10% of stats. Iron resolve is fun. Uh, all right, well, chat wants iron resolve. I kind of want iron resolve. If it were in on the crazy, iron resolve activated. Here we go. Challenge. <laughs> that can't possibly be the right choice. <laughs> That can't possibly be the right choice. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, it moved off of Alliance territory. Okay, pro tip. Pro tip. Get on Alliance territory. Get on Alliance territory. You really want those territory buffs. You really want those territory buffs. But whatever, we'll just keep going. Should I even teleport to get more on the territory? I feel like it would just be correct to be on territory. But whatever. Here we go. Next fight is up. TOB is good. What's TOB? What is TOB? I suppose I could ask for a title, but whatever. I don't need a kingdom title. We don't need no kingdom title, do we? What's the best infantry commander? Veronica, check out the two infantry commander videos I did recently. All right, dude, we're slaying this. Oh, look at this rage gem, baby. 50 rage a second? I couldn't be more happy about that. I gotta teleport. There's no way I want to take these fights off territory. Look look at the... Okay, here's why I'm saying you don't want to fight off territory, okay? Alliance technology and territory guardian. 8% attack and 12%. So I'm getting 20% attack for being on territory. If we struggle with this at all, we're definitely teleporting. If we do not slam dunk win this, we're teleporting. That uh, that one where they heal under 10% would be amazing for you, Chiss. You kill them faster than 10 seconds or whatever it said. That's what I'm thinking. Look how fast this dies. Look how fast this dies. Boom. 30,000 damage. Boom. 25,000 damage. Boom. 33,000 damage. <laughs> oh, baby. The only thing I could do wrong here is accidentally going back to town. All right, let's activate this one. For every 10 seconds in battle, their attack and defense increase, please. I'm not in battle hardly at all. Let's challenge this sucker. Here we go. Here we go. China is good for beginners. Yes, check out my recent video. Uh, about the best civilizations for a new account in Rise of Kingdoms. Best starting civilizations. We got your, yo, we got your back with all the stuff you need to win in Rise of Kingdoms. 934, 936 now, of you watching live as we tackle Lohar's Arms Training. World first? We're working on a world first here. I don't know, world first release of the event. I'm sure somebody else beat me to the punch on beating this. Um, but... We're going to keep doing this thing here. Our level three. How are we? We're doing great. Um, so if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor. Drop a like on it. Consider subscribing. Daily Rise of Kingdoms content. What's with Alliance skill? Does it work too? Probably. I would be shocked if Alliance skills don't also work. Boom. Dude, these things are getting wrecked. These things are getting straight wrecked. My only concern... By the way, it's using action points, but I don't see it using action points to go fight it. I don't see it using action points to go fight it. It's only using the action points to summon the fight. This is going to be really hard. I don't know, like, 200 Rage had to have been incorrect. <laughs> that, 
That had to have been a bad choice for a first skill. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, now we can activate a new skill and claim our rewards. We are rank 51 in our kingdom. Ooh, look at Abe all the way up top there. All right, all right, we got a, we got a chase target here. Let's activate the skill. What comes next? What comes next? Do we care about healing? Not really. They immediately heal to 30% units? Maybe. Um, Lohar's bow, snipe the wrists, drop the weapon, normal attacks disabled? Dude, I don't care if you disable my normal attacks, right? Like, if you disable my normal attacks, I'm just killing you with skill attacks anyways. That has to be a good pick. That has to be a good pick. Let's do this thing. Off territory, son of a gun. All right. Do you think Ramses is worth investing over Alex all the way to expertise? Um, Ramses is going to be freaking amazing. Do the heal skill. We probably should choose the heal skill soon. We probably should choose the heal skill soon. Let's see how this goes. Our damage is pretty good. We, did you see that? We stopped normal attacking. Did you see it? But I think we still generate rage and do all the other stuff we need to be doing because he's hitting us. I don't know. Let's try it again. You're awesome, dude. I started two months ago and got to 22 million. That's really fast. Uh, I always watch your video for the tips. Keep it up. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Much appreciated. Or is it Daniil? Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um... Let's look at this. When I'm disarmed, can I still use skill attacks? I don't see the skill attacks stopping. I don't know. I don't know. So far, so good. We're at 262,000 troops. I'm a little worried about the volume of troops we have, but we'll see. We'll see. We're using Khan Mina. Let's see how this goes. 31,000 damage and... Boom. <laughs> we lose about... I'll have to watch the normal attack damage a little more closely to see exactly how much we're losing there. But let's activate the next skill. Defensive troops... I don't want to increase his counterattack. Or do I? I'm having him disarm me. So if I'm disarmed, like, I'm not normal attacking him, which means I don't take counterattack damage, which is kind of amazing. This this is a good candidate for a next skill. Governor's troops attacked by Lohar will continuously... No, that seems really bad. My, so why am I saying taking damage factor is bad? Like continuous damage factor? That's, that just seems awful. 10% um, chance to heal. Oh, this seems really good. This is another one that like becomes remarkably better. See, I think we're finding a pattern here. If you take this early so you get disarmed, then they can't get this heal effect to happen. They have a 10% chance to heal when they're hit, but if you're not hitting them, they can't get it, which is pretty good. During an engagement, when Lohar's troops are reduced to 10%, heal them to 30%. Um, Which of these do we want to do? Jeez. It might be this one. Counterattack damage by... I'm, I'm taking most of my damage from counterattack damage, though, That's which seems a little bit alarming. 10% chance to heal one... The, no, this is the one. 1% in the next 10 seconds continuously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, he dies. He dies in 10 seconds. This is fine. Whenever attacked, lower troops have a 10% chance to heal troop units by 1%. And in the next 10 seconds, continuously heal troop units? Let's try that one. Challenge. All right. Oh, that's nice. Nice positioning. Okay. Here we go, baby. My Richard gets smashed by Lohar. Lol. Look at how fast those active skills go off. I don't think it delayed my using active skills when I got disarmed. I don't think it did. It It's very hard to tell. We'd have to look at a log. Don't pick rapid regen. Do both the heal skills. I should do both the heal skills, you think? I'm getting a little low here. I think I'm still using my... A oh, there's a heal. There's the heal. The heal... I mean, it does stuff. It does stuff, but that didn't seem backbreaking. Oh, claim the reward. Seems good. It didn't seem totally backbreaking. Does this cost AP? You bet it does. Oh, there's a heal right at the start. Jeez, that's savage. 
But here comes our skill damage. I don't know if the disarm is maybe making it so I'm not doing skill attacks. Oh, it oh it is. Yeah, that that disarm is mislabeled. I think. Keep me honest, chat. But that disarm looks looks like it's mislabeled. Okay, so because because the disarm normal attacks disabled for two seconds, but I couldn't use a skill attack either, could I? It's basically a silence, isn't it? It's basically a silence. Um, just move your troops above your city before summoning so they spawn below. Okay, we can try that. Uh, what next? When they're reduced to 10%, after 10 seconds they heal to 30%. Oh yeah, that seems good. We should have done that sooner. We should have done that way sooner. We should have done that way sooner. That would have definitely been the way. Almost 1,000 people watching live, which I very much appreciate. Whoo, look at this damage. Holy jeez. So after 10 seconds, he's going to heal up here. I don't think he's going to heal because we're doing so much damage. We're doing just so much damage. There's no opportunity to heal. I told you no skill silence is so stupid. Uh, what's up, Chiss? How's it going? Going all right. Should use Ethel, Ethelflaed Joan? I don't think Ethelflaed Joan is the pick, but we could play around with Ethelflaed. See, look at this. I'm sitting with full rage, which is not good. There, ooh, he got healed. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You probably couldn't do skill attacks because you would be making energy. I feel like my, my energy was full though. Right? Like, my AP bar looked pretty full. Anyways, we still have 232,000 troops remaining, which seems pretty good. Let's see how far we get here. Next fight, big damage in, and boom, big damage in. I mean, I feel like our AP bar was full. He dares the heal. So he is dying slowly enough to benefit from that heal. I don't know. He still dies pretty quickly. All right, new skill. Ooh, it's getting pretty dicey. Looking forward to this research. That's right. We're figuring this out. We're cracking the code. Increase the defense of all troops by 10% and counterattack by 50%. Continuously take damage. Speed of rage gain. That seems awful. Uh, Lohar's active skill is powered up to combo shots. Whenever using Lethal Shot, there's a 50% chance to use it again. Hmm. And a 10% chance on attack to dish out an additional strike. Whenever damaged by a skill. Oh yeah, that's the last one we're doing. That's We, we fire off skills way too fast. I feel like this is a candidate. This is a reasonable candidate. This one, I don't like. I don't like that. And defense and counterattack. I'm inclined to go with this one. I'm inclined to go with this one because he's disarming us already. So that seems fine. Here we go. We've made our way up to rank 16 at this point in the kingdom. Defense and counterattack. Oh, good. Putting agreed. Defense and counterattack. Son of a gun, he healed at the start. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Lohar. <laughs> Give me a break, buddy. All right, here we go. That disarm is causing problems. It makes it so I take more normal attacks. It makes it so that, look at that, he got his heal off, which is pretty rough. Okay. We're still doing work here. We're still doing work. We're up to rank 14. Looking pretty good. 6 a.m. here, Chiss School. Oh, hold on. We got a scout. Boom. Remind me to keep up my war frenzy. All right. There we go. We're doing some work here. We're getting below 50%. I don't know if he's got archers. If he does, we got a pretty big damage boost there. Yeah, I thought I'd be de doing so much damage he wouldn't get that heal when he drops down uh, really low on health, but he is getting that, that heal. If we look at the report just real quick, what are we looking at here? Um, troop buffs, what do we have? It looks like infantry in this one and cavalry and archers. I don't know what it is. I don't know what units it is. Uh, battle log. What kind of units do we have? It, it doesn't say. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. That's cool. 
Uh, let's keep it up. What do we got? Challenge. More of these. Here we go. Check the reports to see what types of troops he has. Did, should, is there somewhere else I should have looked to see what kind of troop he had? Is there somewhere else I should have looked? All right. He's got a huge heal here. So he does an instant heal and a heal over time with that healing skill, which is pretty good. Getting disarmed is actually pretty bad for me. It is pretty bad for me, but we do have enough damage to take him out. Boom. All right. Boom. We're up to rank 13 now. Activate a skill. All right. Only three skills left. I think you should try this on your restart project. We totally can do this on the restart project. We absolutely, we're going to get slain, but we can do this on restart. How do you do so much damage? We got full T5, some of the best gear in the game, and a 50% expansion, baby. We are doing work. <laughs> this is the most maxed out you can pretty much be. Um, there's a few more pieces of gear you could get. Okay. Governor Troop Attacked by Lohar will continuously take damage and reduce speed of rage gained. That kind of sucks. Lohar's active skill is powered up to combo shots. There's a chance for him to combo shot again. I feel like I would use that one or this one. Definitely not this. I think I think maybe this one. 50% chance for him to use his active skill again? Whatever. That doesn't seem sound so scary. <laughs> Uh-oh. That doesn't sound so scary, he says. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's look at the leaderboard. How are we doing here? 210,000. I wonder if we can get a perfect score. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Maybe I should ask for the kingdom buff. Should I have done that? Whatever. Maybe use a 10% token. We'll see if we can get all the way to the end. I don't know. This could get pretty tough. Here comes the active skill. Boom! 22,000. Decent amount of damage. Con. Big damage, active skill again, and boom, con, big damage, baby. We do some work here, boom. All right, and that seemed good. I need to pay more attention now to how much skill damage I'm taking. Son of a gun, all the way up here. I, I honestly might need to teleport to keep it on Alliance territory. Can you go back to base and, and regroup? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. It's getting a little dicey now, fam. It's getting a little dicey now. Here we go. Here we go. Doing some work. Let's see here. There's, okay, I see the extra attacks. I see the extra attacks and they, oh my God, did you see all those attacks he did? He did five of them. Okay, that is pretty nuts. He did three of them that time. That is pretty bananas. He did three of them. You see all that skill damage he's doing? All right. All right. This is getting hard. This is getting hard. Let's get our butts back onto Alliance territory here. King buff. I know. I should ask for the king buff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't want people to feel like I'm kind of like abusing my power to get a win of this event. Um, cause certainly we're not going to give the king buff to everybody in the alliance to do the event. All right, here we go. Battling on. Have you thought about summoning low level barbs near your city and using Joan Cleo? So, oh my God, he is doing so much skill damage to me. Dude, look at all that skill damage he's doing. That's a little out of hand. I feel like very rightfully I chose those as being later to deal with. Because those are pretty tough. Okay, now we can activate a new skill. Our rank is currently 10th. We're looking pretty good here. Let's see what we can do here. We activate a skill. It has to be this one. Governor's troops attacked by Lohar will continuously take damage factor. And the speed of rage gained. I mean, like, is it? are we even going to notice? Are we even going to notice the speed of rage gained? We chose this hilariously at the start, which I probably would not do just for the lols. But like, yeah, we seem fine. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Can we do this? 
I don't know. This is getting... We may be getting below the threshold where we can, like, win the fights sustainably, you know? We're kind of at that point. Let's see how this goes. Battle's in. Doing work with those active skills. Boom. What? what how much? Oh, my gosh. We're down to doing 15,000 damage, which is pretty rough. This is sort of going to get out of hand really quickly, is my suspicion. Wouldn't Khan Esong help more with Rage Regen? I don't think we need more Rage Regen. I do not think that is an optimization we need to make. All right. Next up. It's got cloaking. There it is. <laughs> uh, I wonder if battling next to him is going to be a problem. Is it weird that I'm battling next to this other dude? I don't. How does that even work? All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Our march is shrinking in size. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ryan Yoon, welcome to the stream. 1,100 watching live as we smash this event for the very first time, which is really exciting. All right. Here we go. We're doing this thing. We're down to oh, 113,000. I don't know, fam. We're falling below the threshold here of being sustainable. Boom. There we go. Victory. One last challenge. We're up to rank four. We're up to rank four in the kingdom and battle in. Here we go. Damage is on. We still have our War Frenzy buff. Active skills are down to 13,000 damage. Whew. Those were at like 30,000 damage at the start of this. Obviously a fight about sustain. Holy jeez. All right. We're doing okay here. We're doing okay here. Okay. I think we're going to win this, but we're in the red. Whoo, we're getting hurt. Can you trust Yub numbers? What are Yub numbers? We're at 91,000 and we're rank two. <laughs> we're rank two. Can we win? Final skill. Final skill. Here we go. Activating the final skill. Troops now have a 10% chance on attack to dish out an additional strike of vengeance, dealing 500% of normal attack. Whenever damaged by a skill, oh, this is going to be so problematic for me, um, immediately retaliate with strike of vengeance. Oh, God. Here we go. Can we... Dude, did I just get a shield? Did I just get that shield? <laughs> Sorry, I took your shield, man. <laughs> Oops, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can even win this. I don't think we can even win once. I don't think we can even win once. All right, we attacked him with a skill. What do you do to us? I don't see anything. Oh, God, there's the damage. Holy jeez. I attacked him with a skill. Isn't he supposed to do something back that's really crazy? Because I don't see it. I'm not seeing anything really crazy. Chiskul, can you show the stats of this march? We probably can. Uh, who boy. Okay. Pretty sure we're taking first. Pretty sure. Oh, he's getting healed. He's getting healed. I think we can do better than this. I think we can definitely do better. But that was really tough. All right, and first place, baby. We're sitting in first place for now, for now. Let's challenge again. We're going to need to use some AP. That's fine. And thank goodness this one's on territory. We're down to 60,000 units. I don't know, fam. Also, I hope his Richard debuffs mine because that would just be spectacular. <laughs> Here we go. We're in. We're in on the action. Boom. All right. Looking good. Although I think we're going to lose. You can do better, says Maureen. You think we can do better than this? We could probably do better than this. Get an anti-regen hero. That way you can counter Lohar's active healing and passive. I mean, we could try this with Saladin. We could totally try this with Saladin. I think that would be super reasonable. 
Would a 5-5-1-1 con be advisable? I think so. I think a 5-1-1-1 con would be fine. Oh, 33,000. We're not going to get the top score. There is a higher score that is possible, and we are not going to pick that up. Why con Mina and not con Cao Cao? Uh, the healing on Cao Cao doesn't work. All right, one last fight. We got all, almost, almost to the end here. We got almost to the end, and we didn't quite make it. We'll scout this, and we do it. Can you talk about the spring events, please? We're going to have a video tomorrow that goes through the spring events, but yes, absolutely, by the end of this stream, we will cover the spring events. This, my friends, is going to be the fight we lose. This right here is the one where we rip. This is the one where we rip, and we're going to have to do it over again. I don't think we can outpace the healing that's happening right now, which is the real issue. Yeah, that that is going to be a big rip. We're doing okay. Bet honestly, better than I thought, but we are Dunsky. Okay. So there we go. That was a defeat. And new record. 292,710. Cool. Cool. I mean, not bad for a first attempt, fam. Not bad for a first attempt. Um, let's do a couple optimizations here. First and foremost, we're going to teleport onto Alliance territory more fully. That seems like a pretty good plan. We'll move later. We'll move later. But for now, let's just get right smack dab in the middle of the Alliance territory. Okay. That way we get a bunch of territory buffs while we're doing this. And let's see here. Um, we're going to do this again. What do you think? Do we think that a Saladin will be better? And to go like a healing uh, route? Do you think we could beat our score with Saladin? I, I think it's conceivable, right? Like, if we go all in on the healing and we reduce his healing by half, that seems pretty good. Let's see here what our Saladin does for us. Skill-wise from Saladin, we are getting... He's all the way up at the top. Healing effect reduction and 1,700 damage factor. It's definitely less damage factor. We're getting 40% of stats, which is pretty good. Skill damage taken and counterattack damage taken is reduced. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think is the next pair to try out here? What do you think is the next pair to try out? I don't think it's infantry. I don't think it's like Alex and Martel, right? Like that doesn't, you cannot receive any healing. That's right. That's right. Technically, if he qualifies as a barb, if he, how do we know if he would qualify as a barbarian, by the way? How would we know if he qualifies as a barbarian? People are saying I should try Saladin primary and then Minamoto. That's an interesting idea. Mina CC is proving well. Seen someone go 300k plus with that pair using Justice and a Decent Rune. Okay, Mina Cao Cao. That's fine. Let's try Mina Cao Cao. Let's try it. I'm good with that. I'm totally good with that. Let's look at our talent tree here. I think we're going to switch to this build. I think we're going to switch to this build. I feel pretty good about this build. This this feels right. Khan Saladin for sure. It is a neutral unit. Lohar, isn't he a barb? Is there a way to see? Where would it say? Where would it say in the report, maybe, if he's a barb or not a barb? Armsmaster Lohar. Troop buffs? No. I mean, like, you'd need something that says, like, attack against barbarians. Don't use Sal. People are saying, don't use Sal? Yes, that build. Use city theme. Mina Sal will be wrecked? Really? I mean, we could try it and see if they'll be wrecked. Use CT skin. So we do have a skin going right now that's really good. Let me just look at the battle log. 
Does it say if he's a barbarian? Doesn't say. Oh, barbarians. It says engaged barbarians. Do you see that at the very top? Engaged barbarians are Master Lohar. Hello from the other side. Reports, first line says barbs. It says barbs. I'm going to do Mina Tau. We're doing it. We're definitely doing it. We're doing it. Let's switch the gear. Let's try this out. Mina, swap this out for what we got on Khan. Swap this out for what we got on Khan. Swap this out. Yeah, baby. Do I feel lucky? All right, and we'll swap that out. Get some sick gloves going on here. Huge stats on that. And since it's a barbarian, I'm going to switch it up to these boots over here. The edged boots are a better pick. Boom. And the Milanese chest gives me 4% of stats. But if I swap to this, I get 2% plus 3% damage to barbarians, which actually seems better. So I'm going to swap to that. You know, some minor gear optimizations here. All right. That seems good, and now I need to swap his build. I didn't actually switch. So here we go, arms training build. There's nothing else in here I think I need. Um, this one is increased damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units, but also increases damage taken and increases healing effects. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, this looks good. I think we got this, baby. I think we got this. We'll switch it up to this build. Confirm. And now we're going to do this thing, Mina Sal style. We got the build. We got the gear. We'll put the commanders on the field. Here we go. We rock Mina and Sal Sal. We bring full T5 calves. And we should scout something. I'll do that now. Oh, we still got War Frenzy. All right, we'll do that in a second. All right. I think we do this. I think we do this. Mina Saladin. Don't use AP. Yeah, I know we're using up AP. All right. Uh, here we go. We have three daily chances left, or two daily chances left. Let's get this started. Activate skill. Okay, so where do we start now? From what we learned last time, from what we learned last time, I feel like, I feel like reinforced armor was fine. I also think, though, for every 10 seconds in battle... He increases his attack and defense. This is one I want to use really early because it seems like at the very beginning that has the least effect at all. So I think this is the one I would do first is Thrill of Battle. Thrill of Battle seems like the right starting point because the battles are going to last less than 10 seconds. So let's pick that one. And before we challenge it, Let's just change around our commanders real quick. We do have Minamoto with the damage to Barbarians, and we will make Cao Cao the uh, Knight Head for the Troop Defense and Health. That's two additional percent of stats. I think that's just about everything I can squeeze out of that. And we're going to go get our War Frenzy refreshed. Scout that person who was over here? Yeah. Uh, I, Sorry, person. You cannot scout someone with a peace shield. Did you know that? I didn't think I knew that. You can't scout someone with a peace shield. Oh, I was right over here. Here it was. All right, scout, go. Cool. We have our rune. We have our buffs. We're good to go, baby. Let's start the summoning challenge. And yeah, we're going to need a lot of AP. So pop that. Okay, first up. Let's, uh, we'll double check with a march. Yep, mean it's out. Cavalry city skin. We're good to go. Here we go. I got a march to cheer you on. I am Bob. That's hilarious. All right. Battle's on. Let's see how long this lasts. Is it 10 seconds even? Is it even 10 seconds? No. See, that was totally the right skill to choose first. We're so high powered now that it dies really quickly. That seems really good. Unbridled prowess is a huge plus as well. What is unbridled prowess? Skill stack, yes. Did you pick Arabia as my sieve? I did switch to Arabia. That is for leading rallies specifically. However, that does do 10% more damage to barbarians and neutral units, which like, hey, that works out really well for this, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, boom. Look how fast they die. This is totally the way to do this. 
This is totally the way to do this. Don't use AP reduction from peacekeeping. Crap, did I use that? Did I use that? Did I? Son of a gun. Son of a gun. That, so that's three points wasted. And, and maybe even six. Because I could have had the stat points over here. All right, chat. chat's always got eyes on the prize. Th these were wasted points. So we could do better. This could do better. Um, I forgot to switch that up the first time I made that build was when we didn't know that it actually doesn't use the AP for this. Okay, so let's activate a new skill. Um, and what I want to do is during an engagement, when the troops are reduced to 10% after 10 seconds immediately heal, they're never going to get that benefit. Not at the start of all this crazy. So that's definitely the pick. That's definitely the pick. Ah, uh, Unbridled Progress, um, you're referring to the Alliance skill. Yeah, we should pick a time to fire off the Alliance skill. We should definitely pick a time. Here we go. Battle is in. Boom, boom. And look, he dies so fast, he never gets the heal. That seems really good. Our march, however, is already down over 10,000 units. Already down over 10,000 units makes me a little anxious, but I can't imagine having chosen a better sequence of skills so far. All right, there's the active skills. Watch how fast this goes. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. This is going to go a lot faster now. We got a solid 1,000 plus people watching, having a grand old time. Thanks for being here. If you're enjoying this, drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing. We make daily Rise of Kingdoms content. If you want to get value, slay your foes. Subscribe to the channel for those daily videos. Boom. Wrecked. Okay. Activate a new skill. Okay. So I feel like if he heals, I kind of don't care at this point. We're killing him so fast. It's not going to matter. So I feel like the healing skill is the way to go. Every 10 seconds, he has a chance to gain a shield for that healing factor. And while it's... You know what? I also feel like reinforced armor could be pretty good. It could be... I could see rapid regen being fine. But I feel like this could do even less. Every 10 seconds, they get a 1,000 damage factor shield. That, that doesn't seem like a thing I'm afraid of. These are the two next skills either either way. Um, I think... Hmm. I gotta be careful. If I slow down combat, there are some downsides to that. Governor's troops attack to take continuous damage factor. Speed of rage, Gen. Gen. Um, yeah, I feel like this is probably fine for now. The 1,000 shield is probably a fine next pick. Here we go. Can I recommend epic commanders that might be good? What we're going to do after this, after this, we're going to go and do this on our restart project after we've expended our three attempts on our main account. So on our restart project, we have a much lower set of commander diversity to do, and we'll give it a shot and see how we think it's different. So far, so good. We're at 287,000 troops. Seems okay. Seems okay. Can you say which both epic commanders are good for this event? Um, Sure. So what epic commanders do I think are going to be good here? I think that Boudicca is going to be really good. I think that Belisarius is going to be really good. They both do damage to barbarians, which is really good. Like, that's the thing you want, because it says Barbarians in the report. And this looks like a lot of damage to Barbarians right now, quite frankly. All right, here we go. While we walk over, let's do our little verification. Get some uh, few minutes of speed-ups here as the reward. Boom. Faster than 96% of people. What's up? All right. And... Mina tree, please. Well, our Minamoto tree is definitely not correct. 
we wasted at least three points. So you could do better, even, than what we've done here. Best commanders? I mean, I think it's Mina Tau. I think it's going to be Mina Tau. It's, it's, oh, we can already activate a new skill. Okay, cool. Um, I kind of feel like if he heals a little bit right now, it's not that big a deal. Whenever attacked, Lohar has a 10% chance to heal troop units. That seems like not a big deal right now. Um, what are some other options? Whenever troops up by Lohar have a 100% chance to gain 200 rage whenever attacked. Oh my gosh. That's so much rage. <laughs> That's so much rage. But if I get more rage too, I feel like I'm going to do some pretty fierce work. Which am I more afraid of? I'm probably not afraid of 20% health regen. I'm probably not worried about that. Total troop count now? Uh, we'll give that a second. I think it's between these two. Iron Resolve. Like, I don't think I care about him gaining rage. I'm going to do this one. Iron Resolve is kind of a scary one. But we're at 282,000 troops still. I mean, this is going very well for us. This is going very, very well. We're definitely on track to, I think, beat our record from before. I think we are on track to beat that. Um... Boom. Oh my gosh. Just slaying this. Completely slaying this. Very nice. Don't do rage. Oh, Shifty Walnut. Too late for that. We're we're already in on the rage. We're already in on the rage. The, the thing that Minamoto has always needed is a way to get some more rage. Um, oh, you're, some, you're doing this event with tier 3? Good lord. Uh, like I said, I think Boudicca... And Belisarius are probably your pick, especially if you can field all cavalry. But you should be looking to your peacekeepers. What, yet another reason why peacekeepers are very, very good. All right, boom. Oh, we're just slaying this now. We are just slaying this now. Um, I, I actually think probably Ethel fled. I, I on my restart project, I'm gonna use Ethel fled probably and Boudica. That's probably what I do. That's probably what I do. Someone give me justice? Oh, cool. I have justice now. I feel very just. I feel very just. Belly with Boudica is good. All right. So amateurs in the chat is confirming. There is a good way to do this. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Activate the next skill. Amazing. Honestly, like if he heals a little bit, that doesn't seem so bad right now. I don't like getting disarmed as much as I thought. Um, Governor's troops attacked by Lohar continuously take damage and reduce your speed of rage gain. What am I more afraid of? I still don't really feel like he's close to having that proc yet. I don't feel like he's all that close to having that proc yet and become a problem. <sighs> Continuous damage every time I attack that can't be good. That can't be good. Take increasing more counterattack damage. I think we go with rapid regeneration. Let's try that now. Vlad, thank you for the $5 super chat. Full Mina, full Belisarius, or 5552 five, five, Tsao Tsao. I'm going to say go with the Tsao Tsao. The Tsao Tsao is probably the pick rather than the expertise Belisarius. Um, generally the legendaries are better at like five, five, one, one for sure. You're at five, 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 one or five, 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 two. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. And this is looking really good. 267,000 troops left. This is definitely looking better than the previous run. Our current run is still a ways away from the leaderboard. Last I looked, we were in first. Don't know if we're still there. Don't use poisoned. Hate that so bad. Yeah, poisoned seems a little bit terrifying. Oh, how convenient. Look at that spawn right next to us. And you can see why Mina Tao is working really well. 10,000 normal attack damage and active skills for 36,000. Hoo hoo hoo. Savage. All right. And we can activate a new skill already. Poison seems really bad. Armor of Thorns seems not amazing. Disarming is really bad, honestly. That was pretty savage. I think we have to go with the Armor of Thorns now, increasing the counterattack damage taken. And we're off to the races. 
we are slaying this thing. Over 1,000 folks watching live. I mean, like, thanks for enjoying and joining for slaying this event. Uh, we were, last I looked, first in our kingdom. I feel like we're doing pretty well. But thank you again for your ongoing support to the channel. If you drop a like on the video, that would help out the stream a ton. And consider subscribing. <laughs> uh, how about Ethelfled and Joan? I See, I don't think Joan of Arc is the pick. Joan of Arc is not the pick. If you saw my recent video with some epic commanders that were battling, um, the thing about Joan of Arc is she's not really for dueling. She's about buffing other people. So I would not use a Joan of Arc in this context. I would stick to high single target damage commanders and peacekeepers. Peacekeepers seem to be the jam. Of course, we'll release a summary video explaining like all our key findings here. Um, and we do need to do this on our restart project, which we will do, right? So for those of you that are watching that are like, Chiskul, I'm going to use a 25% expansion and my commanders aren't max. Don't worry. We got you covered. We're going to do um, an account that is a lot more realistic for most people. Okay, here we go. Now we're at the point where things are getting spicy. We're at the remaining four skills. We can either do Master of the Bow, where we're going to get disarmed, which I really disliked, or we take Damage Factor every second. Ugh, that seems so bad. I guess we're at the point where we need to start getting disarmed. But getting disarmed, I mean, we do like 20,000 damage. Yeah, I think that's the one. All right, here we go. Now it's disarm time. This event is definitely a T5 event. I mean, yeah, to win, you ha you've got to be like T5. Yeah. Yep, that's definitely true. How much money did I spend for this March? I mean, we've spent over 20 grand on this account. <laughs> we've definitely spent over 20 grand on this account, for sure. So, and we've been playing for over a year and a half, which, like, look, uh, oh, he healed up. Man, he's, we, we've reached the threshold where this guy's going to start healing, which is a problem-ish. I mean, I don't know. My active skill just killed it. I'm free to play an open field. I would take Sun Tzu as a rage generator with a high damage shield. See, the problem with Sun Tzu is that, like, yay generates rage, but he's all about hitting multiple targets, which is not what's happening here. Boom. That went really well. That went really, really well. We'll do this again. Could try fighting a normal barb with Joan next to the low heart. You totally could do that, I think. I think if you fought with a Joan of Arc nearby and hit a barb, you'd get the benefit for the buffs. Yeah, I think Just Liam is right. Um, if you have a Joan outside your city, for example, she attacks some barbs nearby. Will the Minotau get the buff? I think I think so. Is this low heart barbarians? I think it is because at the top of the report, you can, and you can look at this yourself, but it, you know if you look at the report here, in the battle log, it says engaged barbarians, arms master Lohar. So I think it qualifies as barbarians, and we are down to 222,000 troops left, and we get to activate another skill. At this point, we can either do poison or we can do combo shots. I don't know which of these is worse. I don't know which of these is worse. I'm thinking it's going to be the. Mm. Wow. Which one? Lohar's active skill is powered up. This did a lot of damage, I thought, last time. But this is going to be a lot of damage, too. <sighs> they both are pretty rough. I guess you could look at the log to really figure out, like, you could science the heck out of it and see which one's better. But I think the... I'm inclined to go with the poison here. I'm inclined to go with the poison. The 100 damage factor every time I hit him, though. But his active skill is pretty nuts, and I already gave him a lot of rage, Jen. Let's do the poison. Let's do poison and see how we do. And here we go. They should not make it more understandable. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if they made it easier to see that it's a barb. I would agree. I would agree. But we figured it out pretty quickly. Now's the point where he gets pretty tough, but we are, like, way better off than we were before. Even though I think... Oh, he didn't even get his heal! Wow. We still hold rank one in this challenge, by the way, which is pretty good. Should I use Sao Tsao Saladin or Saladin Sao Tsao? I would say Minamoto 
and Cao Cao is your pick here. But if you are talking about just in general, I would say you definitely want your Saladin to be the primary. That is because of the support tree, reducing skill damage taken, and generating huge amounts of rage from the talent rejuvenate. That's the way to go. Do I have the chocolate tea? Yeah, we're out of chocolate tea for now, but we should switch it up to water. Is he going to heal? Woo, we got him before he healed. In before healing, baby. In before healing. You definitely don't want to do AoE, I feel like, because if I used Esong in this particular case, I would probably aggro this level 24 Barb because they all qualify as Barbarians, and that would be super bad. That would be super bad. So it's probably a good thing we're doing the single target damage here. And you can see here we're taking an extra 91 damage a second that we're hitting him anyways from that poison, which is pretty substantial. And he did just pull off his heal here. So we're getting to a place where this is being, this is going to start to be pretty tough. Uh, we can activate another skill here. I think combo shots is the pick. Is it the pick? Troops have a 10% chance to deal 500% damage. Whenever damaged by a skill, they immediately retaliate. Ah, I think combo shots is the pick. Here we go. Which epic commanders are good in a 1v1 against normal players with tier 3? Um, check out my epic tier list. Check out my epic tier list video for a breakdown of which epic commanders are good in every single situation. Uh, that'll help you get a better understanding of where to invest. In general, in the open field, Sun Tzu is your pick. War Frenzy. Oh my goodness, we need to refresh our War Frenzy. Son of a gun. Thanks, chat. I get all caught up in chatting, you know, and I just like forget. Um, we'll do that in just a second. We obviously got to watch the fight. Are we going to win? Are we going to do it before he heals? I think he's going to heal. There's the heal. 54,000 heal. Pretty savage, but it's just one more round of active skills. All right. All right. Uh, let's get a little scout going. Get a little scout going. We'll do that same player that I did before that probably doesn't mind. Oh, that's Rally. <laughs> scout. Yes. <laughs> I don't need to rally them. I just need to scout them. Although rallying would certainly give me that uh, War Frenzy buff. All right. Here we go. Dude, don't 1v1 anyone with T3. That's the better advice from Garam, is you probably shouldn't be 1v1-ing anyways. Let me put down my iPad for a second. Holy cow, I've been holding that for, like, how long has this stream been going? I don't even know. I actually don't know how long I've been holding my iPad. That I needed to put that down. They do look like they are barbarians, so damage to barbarians is a good pick here. suppose I can zoom in a little bit so we can see the fight better. I'm feeling pretty good about this honestly i'm feeling pretty good about this we're sitting at 173,000 troops which seems better than what we were doing before and i don't know if this is the second or third chiskul do you have helm of the phoenix on it's three percent additional damage to barbarians um you know we should look at that we should look at that savage totem is definitely a good one 77 minutes for the stream. Cool. Yeah, we'll show you the Minamoto tree we're using. It's actually not good. I'll show you how I would change it. I'll show you how I would change it. All right. We have smashed that again. Activate a new skill. Strike of Vengeance. Oh, I love this. 10% chance to dish out additional Strike of da Vengeance, dealing 5% of normal attack damage. Um, when damaged by a skill, they immediately retaliate. Well, this is going to get tough. This is going to get pretty tough. Here we go. Level 10, baby. We're at the climax. We are at the climax. And we are going to do this one more time, I think. I don't know if it's worth spending the action points, actually. Is it worth the action points if we've already won? <laughs> what epic pair do I recommend? We're going to test a couple things on my restart project. Oh my god, look at all that skill damage we're taking now. Look at all this skill damage we're taking. Oh boy. Okay, but we're... We're killing him pretty fast. We're looking really pretty good right now. We're looking... Oh, gosh. He healed 30%. Okay. Okay, Lohar. I see you. I see you in your nippleless chest. I mean, they just killed 30,000 of our troops. But I think we're going to win this. I think we're going to beat our score. I think we're... Wait a minute. How far does this go, by the way? 
What happens after we've challenged him three times? Can I keep challenging him? Can I keep challenging him? Is that is that a thing? Just if you use Minamoto plus Lohar after killing each Lohar, can you kill some barbarians to replenish the troop count? Oh, that's sneaky. That's so sneaky. Okay, how do we do here? He heals up. And... He's really fixated. N no, it's just funny. Okay. What happens now? Well, okay, oh, we gotta do it again? Wait a minute. Alright, let's go hit this. Let's go hit this. What's our what's our score? Rankings. Have we not beat our highest score yet? I guess this is the this is where we beat our highest score, right here, right? It's infinite or is it not infinite? You cannot and no. Oh, no, you cannot kill them with the low hearts. Okay, interesting. No healing. Interesting. Show us your mina tree after changes. I will show you the mina tree after we make some changes. All right, we're down to 100,000 troops. But we're definitely going to win. And boom. <claps> boom, baby. New record. Final points. Oh. <gasps> Oh, you get points for troops remaining. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Troops for po uh, points for troops remaining is really interesting. Um, that, I mean, that definitely makes it so that you want to have all the buffs and stuff. That's definitely true. I get points for troops remaining for getting all the way to the finish. That's cool. So there actually is a lot of value to figuring out like the exact perfect sequence with which to do this event, which is pretty cool. Uh, if we get a look here at the rankings, we did really solid. Shifty Walla, look at you, man. 283,000 points. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You can gather gems too. Hilarious. Um, I feel pretty good. Minutes out, out. Told you, 300k plus fun. Yeah, that was pretty good. Would I do those in a different order or sequence? I don't think I would. By the way, for all 1,100 folks tuned in, hanging out, just to do a quick overview of the spring events before we head over to our restart project and run the same event here. Uh, this is the five-day event format we've seen many, many times. Uh, at the end of this, you're going to get epic commander sculptures and a bunch of other stuff that you probably don't care too much about. Some speed ups, uh, maybe some other stuff. It, it, I honestly don't even think about it all that much. But what I do try to do is get all the rewards along the way. It runs for eight days. And um, I don't know. If you really need the universal sculptures, this is an important event, which is definitely the case for most accounts, including my restart project. Uh, but you don't get extra for like finishing it. It's just one for every quest you do. So it's linear progression on that. Branching out, super solid value here. If you've got the 7,000 gems to spend, you are going to get so much more back for upgrading your tree to the higher tier. The trick is that you're going to have to spend a lot of AP battling barbs to actually get enough of these branches to make it all the way to the top. You do that by doing map collection, city collection, and defeating barbarians. If you wanted a way to optimize that, go check out my gathering playlist. Uh, that's going to have you covered on how to really slay and all of those activities. And I do have a video as well about beating barbs that's pretty solid. Uh, you know, you use a commander like Esong or Sun Tzu that does AoE. You get a bunch of ads, and that's pretty sweet. Uh, Garden of Infinity is live. We're not going to do this right now. I think... We've got a high enough score. Uh, oh yeah, I promised I showed my Minamoto tree. I promised I would show the tree. Let's um, let's show the talent tree. Let's show the Minamoto talent tree. Here we go. Um, here's what we used, but we this is not correct. Um, this is not correct because these points are bad, and I think that these points are bad too. So I mean like. We could do this one more time and see if we could get a higher score. I suppose while we have the 50% expansion, that might make sense to do. 
Um, but let me just look at our alliance skills real quick. I feel like someone's going to pop. How many days is this arms training? How many days is this arms training going to be? Here we go. Uh, arms training is three days. So at some point during this, we're going to pop the alliance skill. That is definitely going to be the difference maker. So I don't need to do this over again right now, but let me show you the build here. Let me show you the build. The 30% damage to barbarians. I mean, that's definitely that's definitely going to be the thing. So um, I'm going to reset this. Confirm. And you go into peacekeeping, specifically to get the damage to barbarians over here. That's 15% skill damage and 9% normal attack damage. Very solid. Um, I did really like the full skill tree. I thought that was really complimentary. So we go in there and we get all that extra damage. We want all that raw damage. Really solid. And the thing that I would do with these extra six points is to get some extra stats. So we're going to finish this out top of the tree for the Rage Gen, because you know I'm obsessed with Rage Gen. Absolutely obsessed. Boom. Boom. And um, I want to get Naked Rage. I think this is worth... I think this is worth getting. Um, so we'll snap off all three points there. And I think it's worth getting Latent Power. I think it's worth getting Latent Power. I don't know whether or not there are Archers, but... We'll take this. So the next thing I would do is I would probably get the extra rage gen. I feel like that's just really solid. I suppose I suppose the rage gen is actually not all that important, come to think of it. Because you're going to use that thing that's going to give you 50 extra rage gen every time you hit them anyways. I would definitely get these points. I would definitely get this. And now we've got seven points. I don't know if there are archers. I don't know if there are archers. I would snap off these points. And with four points remaining, I would put one point in a cavalry attack. And the remaining points over here... Well, you know what's interesting? Like, you could go full cav tree, but it just doesn't seem... For the first 10 seconds of battle, increase all damage dealt. I mean, that's pretty good. It could be that reducing the skill damage you take is really good. I don't know. I mean, I think this is the build I would go with. And I'm going to just wait with these three points until I figure out whether or not there are archers. If there are, then definitely go with Halberd. If there aren't, then Undying Fury. But that's generally the build I would use right over here. Go to Lost Kingdom 75. And Lost Kingdom 71. Yeah, what, what's going on over there? Lost Kingdom 75 and Lost Kingdom 71. I can zoom way out here. What do we got going on there? Anything spicy? I do love a good war to include on the stream. However, we are about to head over to our restart project, I think. Um, Lost Kingdom 75 is going... It's going so crazy that my game crashed. Um, I need some coordinates for Lost Kingdom 75 for those of you that are interested in having me check that out. Also, for the folks that are watching, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like onto the live stream if you're having a good time or at all found this entertaining, it costs you literally nothing, literally nothing, and helps out the channel, which is much appreciated. It's your way of giving me a high five virtually because that way... We can't get sick. <laughs> it's your virtual high five. 100% safe. You don't even use, need to use hand sanitizer afterwards. <laughs> uh, HS, if I was free to play and we don't have Manamoto, which commander would you recommend to replace him? Maybe Ethelflaed. Yeah, I think Ethelflaed Boudica is probably the pick. Ethelflaed Boudica. That or Belisarius Boudica. I don't know which of those pairings is going to be the pick. Oh, my hospital. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Um, I don't think we need to run this again, do we? Like, chat, do you think there is value to doing this again on, on my main account? Or should we just jump over to the, to the restart here? Um, coordinates. Top of zone 5 in kingdoms. Alright, lost kingdom 75. 100, 100, go. Let's check this out. And we'll give it a second before we move around so we don't crash. 
Really only like 10 for 1k people watching. Come on, fam. Drop the likes. Nice. Yeah, we got a bunch more likes just now. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. And, you know, if you're like doing your dishes and watching, I appreciate that. So, you you know, drop a like a little bit later. That's cool, too. All right. Top of zone five. Is that this here? Is that this? What do we got here? Uh, ooh. Okay. Some some action, I suppose. Little uh, fort burning party going on. Oh, emojis. Emojis. Throwing some sleepy emojis. Okay. What about over here? Okay. This looks like it's kind of defended. This looks like... Do we got any rallies going on over here? What's with the wild picnic event? It's in the calendar, but not visible to play. Let's go look. Event calendar. Huh. Wild picnic. You don't say. I don't have an answer for why that's not there. Don't have an answer for why that's not there. That's a good question. Thoughts on my KVK allies? They're friggin' amazing. We'll make a, we'll make a separate video about that. We're very happy with our KVK allies. And honestly, there were a lot of kingdoms that we were very interested in allying with and would love to ally with in the future that we're not allied with. Um, there are just some um, really amazing kingdoms and really amazing people out there. Um, the ants ate the picnic. Well, my member Brian knows that's how that works. All right, well, there's some action here, but uh, I want some hot rally action, you know? Where are them rallies at? I feel like maybe there'll be some action soon with these forts building. The clock's ticking on this, baby. Oh, the clock is ticking. Ten-minute build on this. Is red battling against yellow? Because that, that fort is definitely going to get wrecked, if so. Uh, I suggest making a video on fog clearing. Le Prince, check out my video on exploration. We do have a video on that. We do have a video on that. All right. I mean, that's kind of cool. This is kind of fun, but I think, I think, I don't see a lot of crazy elsewhere here. I think we're going to head back to our restart and pick this up and just see how we can do. So let's make our way to our restart project and see what's going on. Here we go. Um, and, you know, because the troops that you have left over at the end of this event really matters, I do think that every bit of stats you can get ends up really mattering a whole heck of a lot. A shout out requested for Menace 117. There's your shout out. Does it exploit the exploration? No, no exploits on our channel. Which one's better, Max Mina with 5422 Tsao Tsao or Max Mina with Max Lohar? Probably the Mina Tsao is the pick. Yeah, Mina Tsao is definitely the pick for this event. It was purple versus red. Well, if you got a very specific coordinate where there's rallies happening, we can go check back in. In the meantime, here we are in our restart project, sitting on some troops that were already trained. We'll make some new ones here. And let's get into the party. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of goodies here we're going to collect. And then the fun begins we got to do our diligence here, getting our goodies. I like value, you know? I'm addicted to value. All right. And boom. Wild Picnic starts at 9 UTC. Oh, interesting. Who did you use for Chiss uh, Arms Training? Mina Tsao. So who are we going to use here? Let's check out the old roster of commanders. In fact, before we do that, one second, before we do that, what do we need to do here? We need to go get a rune. Oh, wow, we got a training rune and a building rune. That's impressive. Maybe we have a damage rune. Research, building, wood gathering. <laughs> that thing that no one wanted ever was a rune for wood gathering. Okay, stone gathering, food gathering, troop health. We have a winner. We have a winner. Let's go send not our Minamoto to gather that up real quick. Use some T1 horsemen. Okay, while that's going on, now let's look at what we got here. 
Minamoto is 5512. Um, bummer that more isn't put into the damage to barbarians. I feel like even at 5512, our Minamoto is probably the pick as our primary. And then the question is, is it Ethelfled as the secondary? Really kind of a bummer, by the way. We don't have her expertise. We're, we're probably... Oh, we're not even close. We're not even close. You know, one thing we did on this account is we stopped buying the Ethelfled heads from the shop. And the reason that we stopped buying them there is that instead we started buying a bunch of gold stars and other things. And I figured I'd rather spend the currency like that because guess what? Eventually, I'm an expertiser. And then every extra head is completely wasted, which is the experience on my main account. I have like one and a half million of the currency for expedition on my main account. So I'm inclined to believe Minamoto is a solid pick, but it could be that Esong as a secondary, because I have him expertise, actually makes sense for me in this encounter. That could be. That could be. Um, jeez. March speed reduction? Counterattack damage taken reduction? I don't know. I don't know. Um, our Sao Sao is pretty good too. 5311 is decent. That's definitely decent. Um, what is the damage factor here? 1,400? This is not bad. Buy my VIP chest. Oh boy. I don't think we're going to buy the VIP chest. Do you think Mina Charles would do well? No. I do not think Mina Charles is a combo that I would use for this. I would not use Mina Charles. Do you think Saladin Sao Sao will work on arms training? Yes. I I would totally use Saladin Sao Sao. I think that's a totally legit pair. I think that's a totally legit pair. Um, and the thing that I would sort of wonder is, you know, perhaps Boudica might be better for the damage to barbarians, but I just don't know. Um, we do have an expertise Boudica we could use, right? Like, this is the thing we could do, but she heals. And we don't actually care about healing. So she's actually not as good as I would have expected. I think we try this with Minamoto Esong to start. And we should swap over our Helm of the Phoenix for the 3% damage to Barbarians. And we're good to go. Yeah, sure. What the heck? We're good to go. Esong will be get better because it... Ethelflaed favors mixed armies. Good point. Ethelflaed favors mixed armies, and we really don't want to do that. So our march is going to be our Minamoto and our Esong. And I suppose we could use an army expansion? I mean, like, I don't think we're going to win without one. We have 19 of them. That seems fine. Okay, basic army expansion used. And we're going to use Mina. And we're going to use Esong. And we're going to use Full Knights. Uh, a couple other things we need to do. We need to pop some boosts. We're going to rock a damage boost. We are going to uh, get some of our other boosts going because that's a thing we should do. All right. And we're going to rock this out. So close in score, Chisco. Did you almost beat my score, Bob? Did you almost beat my score on, on your main? I think it's totally doable. Like, I, I mean, it's not perfect. Does Esong 50% skill damage increase apply to both commanders? Um, does Esong 50% skill damage increase? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Check commander tab, city, and runes. Thank you, Crowder. Well, let's do that. Commander tab. We need to make some changes. We're going to go in and use Mina over here and Esong over there. And let's check our city skin. What do we got going on here? Uh, gingerbread house. Infantry health and minus archer attack. Uh, I don't think we even have a cavalry skin. Comedically, I don't think we even have a cavalry skin. But at least this doesn't hurt cavalry, the one that we're using. So that's fine. Uh, build on my commander. Now that's an interesting question. Um... Is it worth it on my restart project to be using talent resets? I don't think so. I do own eight of them. I guess I own eight of them. 
The Mina Charles combo I've suggested was for arms training. Yeah, I would. I don't think Mina Charles is a combo I would use for arms training. I don't think so. Um, I could maybe star up my Minamoto for this event. All right, hold on. We got a war update here. 75, 258. Let's check this out. Just a quick peek at the war. 75, uh, 528, and 928. Boom. Let's go check that out. Dragothian said it won't be that Isong boost skill damage of other commander. Huh. Uh, I mean, here's what it says. Here's what it says. Increases active skill damage by 50%. You don't think it increases the active skill damage of the primary too? I mean, it's, it's certainly testable, but I'm 99% sure that it does. In fact, I mean, like, unless they change the functionality of this, okay, I am 100% certain that that applies. Uh, we did testing a long time ago, uh, Groggy and I did, before we were even in the same kingdom uh, with Freddy and whether or not his damage was increased, and it definitely was. So that, that definitely works that way. Unless it changed, and it could have over the course of like a year. All right, I don't see any action though, right? Like, it's cool that they are standing here, but I want to see rallies, baby. Where are those rallies at? Where are those rallies? Plus, this this stands no hope. I don't think they can defend this. This this fight looks like it's over. It's Coitons. Oh, well, maybe there's stuff going on here. Oh, here we go. All right. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Do I want simplified graphics? Hell no, I don't want simplified graphics. Support said it doesn't. Are you serious? Well, I guess I gotta go test it again. I guess I gotta go test it again and see what it does. It used to definitely work. Support has stated Isong's skill damage bonus applies only to him. That's so weird. That's so weird. Purple versus red. Okay, we got action here. We got, ooh, ooh, all right, all right, all right, ooh. Do we have a rally? We got a rally. We got Julius Caesar rallies. What? Who uses Julius Caesar in 2020? What um what season of KVK is this? Is this season one of KVK? I don't see any further season commanders, and I see all by bars. <laughs> Richard the first. Okay, if it's season one, I still wouldn't use it, but. Is there a minimum amount of troops to have for KVK-1? There's not exactly a minimum. You're going to need every troop you have. Ooh, counter rally on the rally. Minamoto has the primary. Okay. Garrison, Richard the First, and man, oh, Sun Tzu. Is that Sun Tzu in the garrison doing... Oh, no. <gasps> Is it Esong in the garrison? Is that Richard Esong doing huge AoE damage, hitting everybody around? Oh, no. That can't be good. That can't be good for the folks that are getting hit by that AoE. Let's see if we can get a better peek at that. I don't know if it is Esong. That Esong might have been somebody else. Nope, that's Esong. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, it is season one. All right, well, the Caesar is more excusable, but not what I would use. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Who's the combo in season one? Freddy Esong, I'm told is the combo in season one. That's what I'm told. For arms training, should I kill high-level barbs or low? Don't kill any barbs at all. Even Caesar Barca. Uh, is it Barca? I don't even see who the secondary is. I didn't even see who the secondary is. We could peek that real quick. There's Caesar's active skill. Secondary is... Is it Richard? Wait, there's the active skill. It's Esong. Is it Esong? Okay. I actually think that's not so bad. Caesar Esong is a better pick, but it looks like an infantry rally. Oh, I can't tell what kind of rally that is. <laughs> All those troops dying to AoE. Yup. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, I can't even tell. I can't even tell what in the world is happening. This is... 
593Z. Okay. Wow. Yeah, all those troops are getting completely wrecked by AoE. Wow, all of these people are being introduced for the first time to how Esong works in a flag. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for them. They are losing so much power right now. Oh, they canceled the rally. They canceled the rally. Woo! That building flag is holding strong. Wow. Smash squad versus death squad in KVK. I don't know why you think that's a thing. I don't know why you think that's a thing. <sighs> Learn the hard way. Death is savage. Indeed. Wow. Okay. Our continent is famous. I mean, a slash popcorn. I enjoy watching a good fight and this looks fun. We might need to watch this for a little bit. Although, I don't know. Chat, just tell me when the rally's happening again because we got to do this event too. I promised people we would do arms training. And gosh darn it, that's what we'll do. <laughs> we got to do our arms training. Our, our buffs are running. Let's do this thing. All right. We got our march. Um, Minamoto Isong is the pick. And it's time for arms training, baby. It's time to get shredded against freaking Lohar. I'm really afraid of how we're going to do here. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I feel like Thrill of Battle is probably a good starting point. But on the restart project, we're not going to kill it nearly as fast. Like, not even close. So, like, these fights are going to last a lot longer. We could do the shield thing again. We could do the rage gen at the start, which, like, can't be correct. That can't possibly... <laughs> All that rage gen, oh my gosh. Um, It could be that this is a good pick here. Is Sundok good at gathering? Yes, very good at gathering. Very good at gathering. I don't know where to start. We just need to pick something. I'm going to do this for every 10 seconds in battle thing, and I think I'm going to regret it. And let's hit challenge. All right. Let's start this up. And we do need to scout something. Here's going to be the scout for the 3% war frenzy. Um, you could have Joan hitting a march next to you. I, I just, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Um, Chiskul, when you have time after this round, show the skin Silent Night how it looks with that green color of Britain. Silent Night. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, we this is not we're getting wrecked. <laughs> we I mean we're doing fine, but like we've already lost like thirty five thousand well twenty thousand troops. This is this is not gonna be good. And these fights are lasting kind of a long time to be giving them a lot of stat boost. I still feel like that was the right skill to choose first, but this is gonna be tough. This arms training is gonna be no joke. All right, here we go. Also, we can send back our Dragon Lancer. Come on home, buddy. Oh, man. Someone in chat is saying they got uh, the virus and they have to stay home for the next three weeks. But KVK starts in 22 hours. Well, take care of your health, okay? Number one priority is your health and your family. Make smart choices in these crazy times. Make smart financial choices for yourself and your family, all right? Be smart, people. Family first. Health first. Hey, Chiskul, cool. I hope you have access to VIP chat. would like to confirm the silent trial accessories is stackable. I don't think that they are stackable. I do not think that if you have two of the same accessory that they stack. I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm quite confident that they do not. So, there you go. Um, all I see is Mina, Isong. What happens if you don't have any of those? Uh, I would recommend, like I said, Boudica, Belisarius. Minamoto is great. Tao Tao is great. Um, Joan of Arc. Not Joan of Arc, I'm sorry. Uh, Ethelfled, I think, could be a really good choice uh, if you're doing a mixed march. So, like, Ethelfled, Boudica is a very reasonable pair. But don't you worry. We'll have a full video about... The details of how to do this thing first thing in the morning for you. That way uh, you know exactly what to do 
It means buy bundle people. Oh my gosh, no. I, even I find myself debating, like, should I be buying bundles? But should I be buying bundles? Who do I pair with Sun Tzu for an all-infantry march? Um, Ozone, check out my infantry video. I have an epic infantry pairing video, and I have a legendary plus epic infantry pairing video. So those fully answer that question for you. All right, so we beat the first tier of this event, and like... I don't know how much further we're going to get, but I definitely want to do the Rage one because that sounds like a lot of fun. Here we go. Let's go battle this. Um, I have Sao Sao with Boudica. Yeah, that's a good combo. What's the best pick with Minamoto? Sao Sao and Minamoto is the pick. Classic combos, baby. Your priorities are on point, sir. Well, thank you, Claw Ninja. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Live streaming late into the evening. When you, when you be watching a stream for 110 minutes. Yeah, baby. Well, you know, we got over 870 people hanging out with us as we play Rise of Kingdoms. I feel like I'm kind of living the dream right now. I feel like I'm kind of living the dream. This is pretty awesome to do. Thank you all for being here. I do seriously appreciate it. And if you're having a good time, drop a like on the video. It's your way of giving me a virtual high five and you're guaranteed you can't catch any virus by liking a video unless it was already on your device and then you touch the device, but you're already holding the device to have fired up this video anyways, right? <laughs> Consider subscribing if you're into videos that help you get value and smash your enemies. Is there a five-day bundle event? Yeah, we should talk about that. I expect there will be a recharge event very soon. I expect that there will be a bundle very soon. The combination of those things is going to be really great uh, if you are um, interested in spending in Rise of Kingdoms. Again, prioritize your family and all those other things first. I'm no financial advisor, but probably most people shouldn't be spending crazy amounts of money in a mobile game. Julius Caesar Rally is winning this time. You know what I should have done is bookmarked that freaking rally. Who's the best... With Osman, uh, he is secondary. Uh, Khan primary is the best. Uh, what what were those coordinates again? I, sh I really should have bookmarked it. I really should have bookmarked it. Lude is my middle name. There's a rally starting. All right, we'll go check out the rally. We'll go check out the rally. 53. It's 53 is the kingdom. 509. And 1019. Okay, let's check this out. Thank you for all your videos. You're very welcome. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a building fortress. Oh, no. That's not going to go well. Why not? It's, it's my only entertainment. If you've got the disposable income, it's your judgment call to make, my friends. In Rise of Kingdoms, does the army type matter or does the hero matter more? Uh, the commander matters more than the troop type. The all right, So we're waiting for a rally, I think. Is there a rally set? I don't see anybody from blue here. Nobody from blue is at this party. So who's doing the rally? Where's, where is the rallying? This is burning. This is burning. I don't see a rally. Is there a rally? Where's the rally? Uh, all right, well, we'll bookmark it. We'll bookmark it. Boom. All right, we got a marker. We can come back. Thank you, by the way, for the super chat. I will be back. Oh, I'll be back to see what the heck is going on. Oh, uh, we lost. <laughs> we lost. Training is ended. All right, well, rip training. So we did got, not get nearly as far, not nearly as far on our restart. Um, we can try it again. I can't believe I'm 44th, by the way. I cannot believe I'm 44th. We'll activate a skill. Uh, and I think Thrill of Battle is still kind of fine. I don't think I would change up the ones that I picked is the interesting thing. I think Thrill of Battle is probably the one. And this time, let's use a different march. What march are we going to use? 
Let's try Minamoto. And just for giggles, we could try Boudica and see if it does better. And just to see if it, how it does, right? Let's just see how it does. Boom. Soon, says Lude. All right, I'm watching. I'm watching. Let's see if Boudica is better. Boudica, we got a Peacekeeper now, okay? But she's not legendary, and the healing... Well, now we can watch the healing not doing anything, actually. So let's see what happens here with healing. Watch this. We got damage in, and now Boudica does damage, but no heal. Yeah, no heal. Rally in 75 again. Woo. All right. What's better to invest in first, Con or Richard in an old kingdom? In an old kingdom? If you're in a super old kingdom, I mean, I kind of worry a little bit right now about investing in Richard, given the presence of Ramses. So if you're getting Ramses anytime soon, then I'm inclined to shy away from Richard. Normally, I would say in a younger kingdom that you go for the Richard, because that's a really good long-term investment. Do I need to stir up my epic commander even it is 532 skills or I wait until 555? It depends on the skills, anonymous user. It depends a lot on what skills and which ones you're trying to optimize for. All right. We're in on this fight and I don't think the Boudicca is doing quite as well. New rally in 75. What, what are the coordinates in 75? Hook me up with some coordinates, baby. Hook me up with some cords, and we'll check that out. I do love a good war. I do love a good war. Our KVK is going to be firing up pretty soon. <sighs> baby, baby, that's going to be a good time. All right, we beat him. We'll do another one. And, you know, look, this will let us compare apples to apples, which one is better, which is kind of exciting. I do love a good apples to apples comparison, right? It's the same primary commander, and all we did was swap around the secondary commander. Is El Cid a good archer commander? abso freaking lootly. Um, El Cid's great. I don't use him currently, though, and, and what I'll advise you is that he will kind of fall off in effectiveness over time, but he is generally a very solid commander. Do you think Barca is worth the money? You know, Barca is another commander that really falls off in terms of value over time. Uh, shows the talent of his Boudicca. <laughs> uh, I can show off my Boudicca talents, but she is the secondary. And as the secondary commander, those talents don't actually matter. It's only the talents of the primary that apply. We'll activate another skill. I'm going to go with Rage Gen because that just sounds fun. And here we go. What was your top points with your main with Mina Tsao Tsao? Uh, we can swap back over and show you. We had, I think, 300 and like 3,000 something. Okay, here we go. We got coordinates, baby. 75 and 542 and 954. Let's check it out. Sage of Seven Paths says, it's been nice to see you live. Keep up all the great content. Thank you very much. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. What do we have going on here? Charles Martel on the defense with Caesar at the helm. And who is in that rally? We've got Caesar and... What secondary? I'm trying to peep the secondary. Caesar and who? Is it Esau? Is that Caesar Esong? Is that what we're doing? What do we have here? I see the Caesar. The thing I do like about the Caesar is that um, every time he's attacked, he's going to generate a stupid amount of rage. So swarming down a Caesar is actually like a choice you can make, but it's just going to supercharge the rally, which is kind of funny, assuming they pick the right talents. Um, yeah, this this swarming the Caesar could be a terrible choice. A lot of armies around here. I see Charles Martel on the defense. Who else is with Charles? Charles and who? I didn't peep the secondary. 
I see... I don't see who the secondary is. I see Charles Martel Shield, and... What's... Wh is there only a primary commander? What's the secondary? Julius Caesar Esong, Chad is saying. I do think Julius Caesar Esong is a sick pair. I do think that's a sick pair. There's the Charles Martel scale. Oh, it, it's Richard. I mean, with that healing, it has to be Richard. I just don't see the uh, AoE effect I would have expected to see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's Richard. Okay. Cool. Um, Charles and Richard is a classic combo, baby. Classic combo. Someone's saying 93 versus 94 and 96. 300,000 plus. Got it. Yep, that was the score. We had like 3,000 on top of that. It was like 300 and 3,850, I think. Like 3,854, something like that. Chat figured out Richard is secondary way faster than I did. <laughs> what do you think of Ethel Esong in this event? I think it's decent. I think it's decent. I think a Minamoto would be better. I think I think it's all about the cavalry in this instance. Um, wow. Cool. Rallies, baby. If uh, someone who's involved in this wants to send me a rally report, I'd love to show that off on the stream and check out the details. Ooh, baby, do I love to check out the details. Recharge event coming. Um, Kuang Sam, I expect there will be a recharge event. I obviously don't have any inside information on that, but I expect there will be. Hey, guys, what combo did Chis use on his main? Mina Tsao Tsao. Mina Tsao Tsao is the combo, TA. And I don't think you need to do much testing beyond that. I think that's the slam dunk. They do qualify as barbarians, we think, and therefore the damage to barbarians, it's just the slam dunk. Uh, Khan and... Who did we use as a secondary? Minamoto did okay as a pair. They did fine. Chiskul, 7,000 gems for the legendary sculptures and the branch event worth it? Yep. Captain Zian x 9 x I think so. I think it's definitely worth it. I think there's good value there. Um, again, uh, prioritize accordingly if you're spending money in a mobile game, okay? I recorded the KVK video from Light and Dark. Need to post it at some point. Nice, Maureen. Looks like the rally canceled. They're having a hard time burning this thing. You know, the challenge with rallies is that at some point, you just can't keep filling the rally. You just can't keep filling the rally. Let's make a marker for this. Boom. And we will head back. So many rallies indeed. Is Joan better mixed or infantry as a primary? Um, depends who the secondary is. In general, it kind of doesn't matter. Can you try Joan primary and Minamoto secondary? I don't anticipate that will do well, Planter. I don't anticipate that would do well. We could certainly take a peek at something like that, but man, I just see that feel really unlikely about that. All right, we'll continue here. We'll see if we get further with Minamoto Boudica than we do Minamoto with expert freaking T S D song, okay? Expertise Yi Song. Uh, Chiss, the accountant. I, I am actually not an accountant, <laughs> nor a financial advisor. And you should get your advice from one of those. <laughs> oh, man. Check in Kingdom 1623 and Lost Kingdom 75 for double the honor of the second place kingdom. Wow, nice work. Nice work. People forget how crazy these uh, younger kingdoms are. They are crazy. They are pretty crazy, and it's fun to watch. What talents do you use on Boudica as a secondary? If Boudica is the secondary, it doesn't matter what her talents are. Talents only apply from the primary. So what I like to do is something complementary. Right now, my Boudica is used for barbarian hunting. Chat pointing out that I need war frenzy. Thank you, chat. Also, I might need to eat my hat if what we find out here is that ugh, e song is not as good as Boudica. Wow. I don't know, fam. I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. We, we're, we yeah. Uh, this is our highest score. Look at that. Look at that. I would have swore up and down that my expertise, e song will be better. Nope. Boudica better. Look at that. Boudica is better. Would it be really lame? 
if I use the pun and just say it's all about that booty. Boudic is better. My e-song is 5515 for a free-to-play low spender. Is he worth expertising? Yes. I think 5515 is amazing. And honestly, you kind of want the garrison talents to defend your city. I, I think it's fine. Try it with Lohar? <sighs> nah, Lohar's not better. Lohar's not better. I could see Belisarius being better. Belisarius being better, I could believe. Um, and I'll show you why in just a second. We do have our war frenzy now. Thank you, chat, for protecting me. Lohar versus Lohar. I know. Boudica does more direct damage. I guess. Well, no. The 1,700 damage factor from uh, the Expertise E song should be better, you know? I would think. Heck, we might even beat this. Wow. I did not think we were going to win this, and we actually stand a chance. Although it is gaining a kind of outrageous amount of stats every 10 seconds. So, is Guan Tao Tao a good choice? No, I'd use two Peacekeepers. I think this is all about the Peacekeepers. Lude says, I think we can all agree that Boudica does have that booty. Yep. Okay, so I think, can I just give up? If I just give up, is that okay? I mean, I guess I could get a slightly higher... Well, let's just get the slightly higher score. Okay, it uh, doesn't matter what we do here because we're just about to lose. So, sure. We'll challenge it, and we're we're definitely just going to die. <laughs> yeah, rip rip the army. Chiss, did Khan Mina with... Did Khan Mina with 300,000... Oh, okay. Yes, Maureen is explaining that I did Khan and Mina originally with 310,000, and my Minotau did better. Now, that said, the second time around, I definitely had a better order of the skills that I chose. So it is a little bit debatable. It is a little bit debatable. All right, training has ended. Boudicca was definitely better. Boudicca was definitely better. And let's see here. Let's look at our commanders. Where is our Belisarius at? What do we got uh, skill-wise? We're 5-5-3-1. Five, five, and I don't think I have the sculptures to get there. I don't think I have enough sculptures to get there. We need at least 200. Um, let me see here if I have the gold keys to pull this off. We'll see if we can do this. I have 13 gold keys. Seems pretty unlikely. Extra point for dead troops. Indeed. Um, let's rip open these gold keys and see what we get. Woo! That was actually a pretty good gold key. Not gonna lie. Pretty good for 13 keys. We got the Caesar, two El Cids, two Cleos, five Mehmed. Yeah, that was good. Full Joan, which unfortunately we already have our expertise. Full U Olji, who we just expertised. Um, and two Belisarius. So, yeah, that did not really do the thing. Uh, what do we get from the expertise skill over here, anyways? What do we get from this? What does this do? Uh, defensive Cavalry... So it's like 15% of stats. I mean, that is kind of a lot. That is kind of a lot. Although, I don't know, like, honestly, honestly, he's kind of, oh, this, see, this is the one we're really missing. This is the one that makes a huge difference. Like the 25% extra damage is massive. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it will do as well. But should we just do it anyways? What do you think, chat? I think we just do it. I think I think we just do it. I think we go for it. What do you think? I did have justice the second time around with Mina Tao. That's true. That is true. I mean, what we could do is we could go back to the main and we could do it one more time. If we did it one more time on our main account... Um, what we could do, and where is he? Here he is. Okay. Boom. I would not recommend Pelagius for this operation, by the way. You really don't want the healing that he's going to give. That doesn't do anything. Um, we're really just sort of seeing if the 35% extra damage is going to be better. Um, if we look at Boudica real quick, she's doing 25% uh, bonus damage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. 
But we do have the right march. Yes, we do. Okay. Every fight was on territory the second time too. That is definitely true. Ethelfled, our Ethelfled is not expertise, unfortunately. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I I have very low expectations. Eight hour speed ups in the VIP shop is definitely value, James. This is definitely value. Speaking of value, if you enjoy getting value in Rise of Kingdoms and smashing your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily content in Rise of Kingdoms. We help you beat every event as soon as it comes into the game, and we do help you in war. Every fight was on territory second time true. That That is true, Tom. I mean, like, look, if we wanted to science it up, we could do it again. Uh, let's go to 75 and see what's happening. I am told we got a rally cooking up over here. And indeed, there is fighting and a rally. Okay. Looks like they have mostly cleared out of the field, although I take it back. There's still some crazy going on here. There's still some crazy going on in this rally. We've got Caesar and Esong rallying into Charles Martel and Richard I. Classic Season 1 defensive pairing. I use the heck out of those in Season 1 of RKVK, although if you're a sneaky ninja, you drop in an Esong as the secondary. Their AoE is going to hit everybody near the flag, well, up to five targets anyways. That does mean that the rally takes less damage, 15% damage reduction per target hit, but you're getting more damage overall, and you will kill the troops of people that are not even attacking the darn structure. It is very, very powerful uh, and is a really good way of forcing your opponent out of a position, which is something that really there aren't a lot of ways to do, and position matters a lot in Rise of Kingdoms. Here we can see the Caesar Rally is a mixed rally, and that Esong damage is looking pretty solid. Uh, the thing that's pretty interesting about a Julius Caesar that you might not have expected is that Julius Caesar has an a talent from the attack tree, I believe it is, uh, that makes it so that every time he is hit, he generates rage. Now, if you swarm this march, which is just entered into cloaking and back out of cloaking, it's actually a Romulan Julius Caesar, um, that Julius Caesar is going to generate a lot of rage, which makes him a lot harder to deal with. In addition, the second skill on Julius Caesar reduces the amount of damage that they're taking, so if you're swarming that down, there's a chance that you're going to proc that. Julius Caesar might win this rally. I think it's going to depend a lot on how well reinforced this structure ultimately is. Uh, because they've got a Richard I in there, they're going to be able to tank for a very, very long time. And their healing and hospital bill is going to be pretty large. Uh-oh. I am Bob says, sorry about the score. Uh-oh. We might need to go back to our main and do this again. Also important to leave the alliance and rejoin to reinforce the rally to keep it full. That's right. You can only have one march in the rally at the time. So if you leave and then rejoin, you're in a really good position uh, because, yeah, you are going to get multiple marches put into that rally. You're going to have a lot of troops die, but that makes it so that you can keep that rally going for a very long time and hopefully get the darn structure to burn. I have 783 purple sculptures. Save them for future commanders or have some fun now. Claw Ninja, I feel like you can have a little bit of fun now, but if they release two new epic commanders, you're going to need 440 sculptures per epic. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you think they might release epics anytime soon, you might want to hang on to those. If you have an immediate use for your epic, then gosh darn it, I would fire that off and use it. It does look like the Julius Caesar rally is winning. As more troop reinforcements arrive, a bunch of legionnaires just dropped into there. Five fifteen nine oh eight. Okay. Five fifteen nine oh eight. What do we got going on here? Anything? Nothing? Something? A little little something. A little something, but I feel like we had some better action going on over here. Would you use Sun Tzu and Olji or Pelagius uh, as a garrison? So check out my old garrison video talking about swarming versus rallies. It's uh, 
Got a thumbnail that says punish your enemies. If you just look up Chiskul Garrison, I'm sure you'll find it. It talks about the virtues of having a commander that's good about, or, or good at, uh, uh, you know, to handle a swarm versus better to handle a rally. That's the advice that you're looking for. Would you use, oh, I answered that already, sort of. Um, I personally, Sun Tzu is really good and I like Pelagius. That's probably what I would put on your garrison. They need to fix that quit and rejoin stuff. Yeah, it's been that way for a really long time. Defenders should have an advantage of being able to reinforce by pulling troops and refreshing. I do generally agree. Lohar have some archers. Should we use the 3% versus archers? How do you know there are archers? How do you know there are archers? I guess it does have archer stats. Could be good. I don't think this rally is going to win. It doesn't look like it. It looks like they're in some trouble here. I just finished expertising Richard. Should I work on Esong, Ramses, or save? I would just save. Save for now until we know what's good. Save for now until we know what's good. 38 days into the game is Spain. Low spender. Should I rush my Pelagius to 60? Six, uh, Pelagius is a very good commander. Pelagius is a very good commander. Wow, that structure... Oh, no, that's not the structure. That's that's a player. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. Who would you pair with a max skilled CPO for open field, and who would you use him with for secondary? George, check out my CPO video. I actually have a video, Is CPO Good in 2020? And I talk about the pairings. That's the thing you're looking for. Um, I mean, the short answer is I really like, like a CPO Joan of Arc because it makes the... Joan of Arc sort of protected behind the CPO. People are not likely to hit a CPO, and they are far more likely to hit your Joan of Arc in a young kingdom, in a young kingdom. In an older kingdom, they're going to see a CPO, right? And they're going to think, ooh, an epic, and they're going to they're gonna kill it. Be sure to get his skills up before leveling, indeed. Is your Mina Belisarius still fighting? I mean, they're definitely dead if they're still fighting. <laughs> uh, they are still out on the field. We are not yet done with that test. Let's head back over and keep doing our test, by the way. I mean, I do like the war stuff. I don't know, chat, you, you tell me. What do you prefer? Wait. I see why you say is it still fighting. He's still got the little war crossies going on. What, what do you prefer here? You want to see the arms stuff or do you want to see the war? Your call. Which is it? Warring or the arms stuff? Would I get more value in KVK if I unlock T5 cavalry or infantry for my first T5? Wow. Uh, I have commanders for both types of those. So technically an expertise E song. So archers are also an option. Wow. You got options on options there. Um, Jeez. Technically Freddy E song is the pair for rallying in that kvk but like very few people will actually have that <sighs> Jeez, i mean you're gonna use infantry to defend structures and you're probably gonna use cavalry to rally structures maybe i would lean maybe toward infantry everybody says war one person said arms two person said people said arms all right, all right. We'll finish this up. We'll finish this up, and then we will go do the war stuff. Zoom in, Lohar army, and see the archers. Well, that is pretty smart. Okay. 9% uh, damage to archers seems like it would be good here. I see infantry, and I see archers. Chat for the win. Chat for the win. I don't see any cavalry. Do you see any cavalry? Are there really no cavalry? That's interesting. No cavalry. Huh. Okay. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. Is this going to do as well as our previous? I do not think so. I do not think so. Is Artemisia Esong good flag defense? I don't know. Is it? Have I tested that? We'll have to talk about that in another video.
Let's go back to the war because that is definitely the thing chat wants to see. All right. War inbound. We got that sweet bookmark set up. Boom. That rally is still going. I've got 3 million power, though. Not a good idea. Hmm. Is it worth 3%? Where are you getting 3% from for damage to barbs? Um, I guess, are, are you saying there's three talent points you would put into the anti-archer stuff? And because it's like maybe one third of the march, you get one third of the benefit. Is that kind of what you're saying? I think it's worth it. I think it's still worth the points in the cavalry tree. I do. I do think that's worth. That is probably where I'm going to put them, actually, in just a second if I do this again. 74, 50, oh boy. More coordinates. I just finished max. Alex, do I work on Richard or Esong? Esong. Esong's so good. <laughs> do your Esong. Do your Esong. Man, I don't know. This is looking pretty spicy up in here. This is looking pretty spicy up in here with this rally. I mean, like, I don't think they could win this. I think they could win this if they get some reinforcements. I don't know how many troops they have. I don't know how many troops they have. This is some crazy stuff. It does look like there's some respect being shown for that AoE that can totally wreck you at this point. If you bring Lohar to the arms event between the fights, if you attack barbs, I don't think the healing works. I don't think that works. Hey, Chisco, I really need help. Started my own alliance. Uh, and I'm trying to put an alliance flag down, but it won't place it. Uh, you need to build a fort first. Pretty sure before you can build any flags, you have to have a fort. So hopefully that helps. Uh, okay. 75, 510, and 911. Really? Yeah. Rally. Ooh. Minamoto rally. Okay. We got a Minamoto, and who's the secondary? What do we got here? We got Charles Martel on the defense. There's Minamoto, active skill, and I didn't, I didn't catch the second. I think it's probably a Tsao Tsao, though. We've got, man, some crazy stuff going on here. This is a crazy KVK. This is a pretty crazy KVK. I have Max Minotau and Khan maxed out. Which is best combo in the open field? And which one for Rally? If you're going to micromanage the march and like just try to be a sniper ninja, then Tsao Tsao primary, then use... Oh, you have Khan as well. Wow, interesting. So if you're being sneaky battling stuff, right? I think the Tsao is the pick. Because you're going to hop into resource nodes and use Hasty Departure to get around. Otherwise... I would say Minamoto is certainly better for rallying. Uh, let me take that back. If you have Khan, Khan Tsao Tsao is going to be the pick for rallying. There we go. Khan Tsao Tsao is your pick for rallying. I remember in Season 1 of KVK, and I think Season 1 of KVK is different now. In fact, it definitely is. I don't think Khan is even available in Season 1 of KVK these days. But in my Season 1 of KVK... Khan was available, and Khan Tao Tao was terrifying. We had no way of handling it. We had to counter rally. Otherwise, we were just going to lose. It was really nuts. Does 3% armor barb buff work for both skill and attack? Uh, so if it's like damage, yes. It should be your normal attacks and your your skill damage. Two battle ready legendary commanders at five one one one. Um, Aswin, you might check out my videos about best uh, uh, five one 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 legendary commanders and best five five one one legendary commanders. But if I was just like shooting from the hip here, two battle ready pairs of five one 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 legendary commanders. Um, let's assume Minamoto's in the mix. 
We'll throw Minamoto in the mix. I think having some cavalry is a good idea. You could use a Minatau. I think that would be fine. Um, I think that if you have Khan, you really should max the first and the second skill. I think that you should probably be using a Richard and Alex. Although, again, I really would max the second skill. So, like, maybe Richard and Charles would be a good one. Do you do war strategy videos? Amelia, we have a war playlist. And we have KVK playlists for every season that we've done. Check those out. There's definitely a lot in there. You can have Esong the first day in a new kingdom. Uh, I'm not aware of how you would do that. How do you do that? Tell me more. Go on. How long uh, have I played this game? Over, I think, 500 days on my main account. I mean, we're on our restart project now. Our restart project is like 150 days in at this point. Check out Lost Kingdom 74. Yeah. I mean, I got, I got a rally for now. I think I'm going to stick where I'm at. I think I'm going to stick where I'm at for now. For returning players, should they focus on getting their troops up around 600k-ish? For returning players or unlocking T5. Um, yeah, I would work on your troop count. You definitely need to work on your troop count. Um, as long as you feel like you're in a safe place. As long as you're in a safe place. Oh my gosh, Black Angel Hope, obviously. That's genius. Why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? I gotta make a note. I like that so much, I gotta make a note. Obviously, First Kingdom has Esong in it. Duh. That's kind of cool. I don't know how important that is. Um, jumper, First Kingdom, YSG wheel. I like how my notepad converted YSG to MSG. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Esong's not in keys. Isong's not in keys, but if you had a wheel, that would work. Is Minamoto worth expertising? Minamoto is very good. Um, check out my my video. Is Minamoto still good? If you'd like some information about that. In Lost Kingdom seventy five, which is the one we're looking at, ninety three destroyed ninety four on zone four, and now they paired up with ninety six because ninety three is so strong, huh? It's interesting to hear the allegiances, and I think this is not uncommon, that in KVK Season 1, the like alliances are like so much more fluid um, rather than like, man, I mean, the light and darkness KVK, once you lock that in, baby, that's that. It's any commander that appears in Wheel or Card King. Indeed. Indeed it is. Thanks for all the helpful videos. You're very welcome, Paul. And if those of you that are watching are enjoying this, please do consider dropping a like on the video. It's your way of hooking me up with that virtual high five and it's 100% virus free. <laughs> uh, you don't even need hand sanitizer after you've given me that high five. So drop a like and consider subscribing if you are into smashing your enemies and winning in events. Yo, Chiskul, what's up, Jaden? AP, does it take... How much AP does it take to get level 25 in the spring event? Ooh, maybe somebody knows. Maybe somebody knows. I don't have an answer offhand, but I think you're going to have to battle a lot of barbs, a lot of barbs to get up to 25. Um, you're going to want to use a commander like Esong as a secondary to get just like free barbs to aggro in. Do you think it's worth the expertise skill on Leonidas? He's at 5554. Five, wow. Well... You're already at 5554. Five, five, at that point, I think you just use him in Canyon and expertise him. You probably do expertise him at that point. Like when you've got 5554, five, five, that's that's probably a, a break point where you just do it. I know his expertise skill does not seem amazing, but like he's good in Canyon and it'll get some use there. I think that's reasonable. I think that's super reasonable. Looks like the rally ended. All right, let's just check out how we're doing here. How does this going? I don't think we're going to win compared to how we did last time. How much health do we have left? 
Oh no, we, we yeah we lost. All right, we give up. We're gonna give up and we're gonna go send out our gatherers, and then head back over to our main where it sounds like our title got dethroned, and we may need to try the arms event just one more time to pull this off. Let's see here. We're gonna just send these out. Boom and boom. One and two. Sweet. Thank you, name is Jed, for becoming a member of the channel. I hope I pronounced that correctly. By becoming a member of the channel, your name now shows up in green. It's a million times easier to see your chats that way. And you get a little badge next to your name showing how long you've been a member. And you get access to the sweet new emojis. So let's drop some hype emojis for our new member. Great to have you here and thank you for your support. Okay, let's switch over back to our main. Let's jump over to our main. Is Artemisia and Tamaris a good pair? I think they could be good. I think we still need to do some testing on that, though. All right. Let's see here. Sounds like our score got beaten. I wonder by how much. I wonder by how much and what we need to do to get that title back. Do you think 1,500 kingdoms consider young? I guess, yeah, 1,500 plus is relatively young. I would say it's not all that young, though, because, like, pfft, yeah. I, I guess, like, wow, what kingdoms are we on these days? 1,700 plus would be a super young kingdom. Before Season 1 of KVK would be young, in my opinion. All right, let's go in here. What? Are we, how are we doing? Guard of Infinity. We still haven't done this yet. Arms training. We're freaking second. All right, by how much? By how much? Uh, by 125 points. I wonder what Bob did differently. I wonder what Bob did differently. If we look at our commander here, we could do a little of this. I think that's good. I think this build is better. I think this is better. I think this is a lot better. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. I think I think we do it. I think we go for it. Let's get a rune. Let's grab a rune real quick. And let's do this thing. Where are we at, runes? Boom. Health rune? Do I want a, a 10% health rune? Or do I want a 7% attack rune? I'm actually not sure. But we'll go for health. All right, let's do that. And let's do some other micro-optimizations here. Um, I can request... Well, you know what I will say, though? Is whenever we pop the Alliance skill, like, it's just going to blow away whatever these scores are, right? Glory FK. Wow. Thank you for the $5 Canadian super chat. I really like how energetic you are. Makes the viewers feel so involved. You're very welcome. Thank you for the guides. Um, Glory FK, I do super appreciate your donation. Thank you for that. And Maureen with a $20 super chat. Enjoy your evening, Chisco. Thanks for the content. Thank you, Maureen, for the super chat. That's super awesome. I really appreciate the support. Oh, uh, man. Well, I don't know. What do you guys want to see? You want to see me do it again? See if we can beat the score? And like I mentioned before, my wife and I are very grateful for your helpful videos. If you could say hi or hello or yo to my wife, Queen B, she also plays Haro OK. Well, hello there, Queen B. Thanks for watching. I do seriously appreciate it. Maureen dropping the whale money. Indeed. I was going to make a whale sound, but then I realized how weird that would sound on a live stream, and I just decided against it. <laughs> I decided against it. Oh, my. Um... No whale here, says Maureen. Glory FK, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Super appreciate it. You've now got the badge, the green name, and the emojis. If we could get our members to rock some hype emojis for Glory, welcoming them here, that would be super appreciated. Whew. Okay, so let's look at our alliance skills. When, when do we get to fire one of these off again? Unbridled progress, probably tomorrow. We'll go drop some stone into this. 30% um, damage dealt to barbarians. I mean, that's definitely, definitely going to win. Wait till the alliance buff. Don't do it again. Yeah, go again, other people say. I mean, we could do some, 
We could do some testing. Like, I could use a Saladin and we see if it's better. I don't think it will be, though. I could just do not think it will be. I don't think it stands a chance. I don't think it stands a chance. Um, am I going to make an event, a video about the spring event soon? Yes. Tomorrow morning, expect a spring event video. Expect a spring event video. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, you know, what 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 sorts of things do you need to do for the spring event? You're going to have to battle just a freaking boatload of barbarians in order to get the goodies to level up this tree, or you're going to have to buy bundles. If you're battling the barbarians, pro tip, wait until day two, which is like, you only got to wait a day in this event. Uh, there's going to be a, a quest to battle 300 barbarians. That'll help out. Um, so, we, you know, wait a little bit so you get that quest credit. That said, you're going to have to battle a lot of barbarians over many days, so it's going to take a while. Three days, nine uh, total attempts. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I want war. What time, Chiskul? Oh, my gosh. When will we do this again? I don't know when we're going to fire off the Alliance buff, but I am going to make sure that we do that uh, at a time when we've announced that it's going to happen so that people can be there and it's not like a sneaky ninja move. So um, maybe even I'll send that mail now. Um, ooh, and we got some spring boxes. Okay, cool. That's kind of cool. All right, we'll claim all that. Um, yeah, I, I really want us to schedule that time. We'll send an alliance. Oh, no, that's the board. Here we go. We will schedule the alliance buff. Uh, for the arms event, we will schedule a time to use the arms, uh, or not the arms, the alliance buff, so everyone can enjoy the barb damage. Cheers. All right. Boom. I wanted to send that just to make sure that somebody doesn't fire it off. Because that would kind of suck, you know? If it gets fired off and there are people who are like, what? I wanted to do that. Because, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, if I get the sculptures, great. If I don't, like, it's fine. Um, if you do your third, try it and pop Unbridled Progress tomorrow before reset. You can take advantage of it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, we want to do that. We did. We definitely want to do that. Whew. All right, my friends. I think it's getting late over here, but we have 700 people still watching the stream, which I deeply appreciate. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Drop a like on it so that it gets more attention and other people can go enjoy it too. Uh, and consider subscribing if you're into beating your enemies and getting value in Rise of Kingdoms. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom. <laughs>